good. All right. Well, we can start then, I think. Are you all excited to see Harry tonight? Yes. You must be all dying to see him. You know, like, he, he is... Who's, put your hands up who's been to one of his shows before. Who came to the one that was last year that we had? Oh, so quite a few of you. Okay. Hi, Pino and Sue. Oh, I just want to mention Pino and Sue, they're from Sue Sensi Jewelry, and you've all got your little bracelets, your little protection bracelets. So thanks, Sue, and thanks, Pino, for that. That's really nice of you. I've actually got... Thank you. I'll give him a clap. That's good. <laughs> I've actually got their jewellery on, so I'm actually wearing Sue's earrings at the moment, not from her own personal collection. <laughs> this is, I didn't steal them from her house. She actually gave them to me. Um, and the protection bracelets. So mine's rose gold, going with the rose gold theme of my head and the rest of me. So, But you guys have got the, the protection bracelets. So wear them. If you don't want to wear them, put them on your door at home because that's a really good thing So to do, protect your house. And maybe an alarm system too might help too, I don't know. You know, that might just be a, an idea with things going the way that they are today. So, all right, well, I'm going to go into my speech now that I've got here on my phone because there's a lot here that I have to cover. So welcome, everybody, to an evening with Harry T. And this is the part where you all go, yay! How exciting! I don't know. <laughs> it's very exciting. So, Okay. Well, you know who I am. I'm sure most of you have gathered that um, I'm Sarah, Harry's bestie. And um, we've known each other for many, many years. And strangely, I come from a science background. My whole family is science. So we... I don't actually believe what he does. I don't know how he does it, but he does it. So that's sort of a bit of an odd... That's sort of an odd situation to have, isn't it? Where I support him. I don't know how he does it, but I know that he can do it. And it astounds me. Every single time I've ever hosted one of his shows, I've been here crying with the rest of you and then laughing with the rest of you and then being shocked by something that he said. Um, yeah, so I'm very, very excited for all of you to see what happens today. And we don't know what's going to happen. I hope, I wish all of you would get a reading, but I don't know if you, obviously there's a lot of people in there, so all oh, the people at the top. I think it's actually warm up there. So I think you've got a good spot. And you, lady, have got a beautiful spot right now. You've got the best spot. <laughs> All right, so I am a bit of a sceptic. Um, like I said, I don't know how it works. All I know is that it does work. And the things that he says to whoever gets picked out of the crowd, it's very profound. It's very particular. Um, it's not just like a J with a, oh, there's a J and, oh, it's a John or something like that. You know, you, for the guys that have seen it before and been at the shows before, you know that it's actually very specific. Most of you already know that Harry is an amazing guy but he's also one of the most down-to-earth humble and genuine people that you'll ever get to meet he's very entertaining so he doesn't just come out here and just go blah 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 and tell you you know what's going on behind the scenes with the uh, people that have passed on from you he's actually funny he's a really funny guy so he is at the top of his field he is a, he's known as Australia's top leading psychic medium which is pretty incredible because there's a lot of them out there um, I think a lot of people do have the gift, but obviously he's very, very good at it. So um, He has read for many, many famous people around the world, so not just here in Australia or overseas. He spent a lot of time in LA uh, this year and the end of last year, uh, where he has read for quite a few A-listers, and he's got a lot of them. We're not allowed to say who he's got coming up with readings, because until he's done them, he can't say it, but wow. I just want to hang around with him when he does that and just be like the person that picks up their bag or their jacket or something like that, just so I'm there. So he has been endorsed by media giant Larry King. So for those, yeah, it's amazing. So it's, it's substantial, that. So for those who don't know who Larry King is, he's a very politically motivated guy, um, very, very big sceptic, and he's a bit scary because he's one of those people that you you think, oh, he's going to say something really awful to me and it's just going to shut me down. So Harry's read for him. And we've actually got a little clip where you can see what happened with Harry when Harry met Larry. <laughs> I'm Larry King here in my palatial home in Beverly Hills with the amazing Harry T. I met him tonight. He's going to be on my show. And he did a reading of my wife and I dealing with people who have passed on. I'm a skeptic, I'm still a skeptic, but I gotta admit, Harry T is amazing. So unless he read a deep, unknown biography of me, 
or has tapped into circumstances I never heard of, got my wife on the money, I would have to say what this does give me as a skeptic is hope, hope that there is something after. And my father contacted me and my brother and my late mother, and that Sean heard from her loving uncle, and he knew so much about her family. Harry T is amazing. So while I remain skeptical, I'm not skeptical about him. And where this leads me, I do not know. But he tells me I'll be around for a long time. Get used to me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wasn't that just amazing? Like seriously, that's Larry King, you know. So this is a guy that does talk show hosts all the time and he sees a lot of different people. So, so, so amazing to see Harry like that. But I'm also really um, proud to report for Harry. He has a regular segment on Channel 9's Today Extra with David and Sonia. So if you guys have a sickie, for those that, you know, work during the days, you know, usually about 10 o'clock in the morning, you can watch Harry on a Friday morning. And if you don't get a reading, I think what you should do, this is a bit of a sneaky sneaky, right into Today Extra, if you don't get a reading tonight, and you can do your own little video on your phone, send it into Today Extra, and maybe Harry will pick you, you know, or, or one of the producers hopefully will pick you. But there's a way for you to get in and get your, your questions answered. He also does have a regular radio segment on Smallsy Surgery on Nova FM. He also does Kiss FM quite regularly. And he has been interviewed by me on my radio show too at uh, Classic Rock Radio. He also regularly assists the local and federal police. So a lot of you that don't know that about Harry, that's obviously for me, that was my main thing that I wanted to know. Like as soon as people say the cops come to you, the cops want help from you, that's a whole other level of legitimacy, I think. So he solved so many cases, murders, cold cases, kidnappings. So how you do that, I get goosebumps even just thinking about it. Sorry, I hope I don't look like I've got prosciutto or arms with this dress, sorry. <laughs> I'm just looking at it now, I'm like, oh my God. Didn't think about that when I put it on this night. And I was like, mortadella, yeah. So, <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so for those of you that are wanting some of the social media handles today, so if you want to upload something or take a photo with your girlfriend or your husband that didn't want to come and then he ended up getting a reading and he ended up in tears and all that sort of stuff, there's social media handles that you can do on Instagram and Facebook and all that sort of stuff. So it is at Harry T Official. That's on Instagram and I'm pretty sure it's Facebook too. And you can do the hashtag Harry T. I would love everybody, please, if you could turn your phones onto silent at the moment. If you haven't, I heard one go off before. So you're naughty, whoever you were. <laughs> Um, but also, um, no flash photography, because I think that that light just puts him off a bit. So, yeah. But um, if you're quiet and you sort of put your little camera going there and you... I know, I've done it before. <laughs> <laughs> just be a bit sneaky and film, you know. Filming's fine, because, you know, sometimes you want to, you know, watch it back and see what it was like and all that sort of stuff. So... For all of your friends in other areas of Australia as well, Harry, oh, here comes Sam. God, this is a photographer. He's poking his tongue at me. What's going on? He needs to get through, ladies. This is important. He's got to take my, my photo right now. <laughs> For everybody that's got friends in other states of Australia, Harry is taking his show into the other states. So literally we have pretty much everything covered, apart from Tazzy. Sorry, Taz. Oh, and Canberra. We've got a few angry people from Canberra that didn't get a Guernsey, so... Okay, Perth is June 26th, we've got the Gold Coast July 3rd, Brisbane is July 4th, Sydney July 12th, and Radelaide is July 17th. So for all other information, guys, go to Harry T's website, which is all the W's, I'm not going to do it because my lip gloss won't let me. All the W's, harrytofficial.com. And now, this is the exciting part where I get off the stage and actually Harry, Harry gets to come onto the stage and start his magic fantastic work that he does. So I hope you can all give him a massive, massive, massive round of applause to bring him out, Mr. Harry T. Come on, guys. Oh, thank you so much. I love you. I love I you. Love you. <laughs> who thought, who knew that she said so many amazing things about me? Oh, because he, he told me. No, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank Enjoy, you. and I think that's all we need. Thank you very Bye. much. How fabulous is she? Oh, thank you so thank much, you. Sarah. Thank, thank you. Up. Thank you very much. So good evening, Melbourne. Good evening.
Now, I want to see a psychic wave. You know, they say Mexican waves. I want to see a psychic wave. So let's start from here. Ready? Start it. Psychic wave. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Fantastic. Up you two. Come on. Fantastic. I'm so grateful to, to see everyone here. There's a lot of you, which is, which is always a good thing. Now, um, obviously, you know all about me because Sarah was talking about me. Actually, you spoke a lot about me. I didn't realise I did that many things. <laughs> but but um, that is basically, in a big nutshell, that is what I do. Now, how this evening will work is I will basically relay messages from people's loved ones who have crossed over. I have no idea what's going to happen. I might be psychic, but I've got no clue. So, literally, literally I will basically just... <laughs> Isn't that funny? It's true. A lot of people say, oh my God, what do you expect? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's true. It's true. Because, you know, you rock up to this stage and obviously my work involves people who have passed over and I literally have no idea what's going to happen until I jump onto here. And I still don't really know what's going to happen. So we have to see what happens. But literally... Spirits talk to me, so they talk to me in my ear. I get a lot of information about them. Now, a lot of it will not make sense to me. I don't really know what they talk about, but I know that they talk about people like, obviously, you guys. Now, you guys are obviously all alive, but your loved ones always watch over you. Now, a lot of you may not receive a message, but what I hope happens, and this does tend to happen to all the audience shows that I've done, is you may hear something in someone's reading that can resonate with you, and you can then take that away and take that home knowing that your loved ones are really with you. Does that make sense? Okay, and that's, I think that's so profound. When you experience it through someone else also, I think that's a, it's a really touching thing. So at the end of the day, everyone here will, will receive something and I hope if it's not in your own, it's within someone else's reading, okay? Now, I don't actually really pick people. The spirits step forward and I've already got spirits coming forward and actually, it was funny, in the green room, I said to Sarah, oh my God, there are dogs. I said to Sarah, there are dogs walking around. So if there are anyone here that has lost dogs, I've got a feeling your dogs are coming, okay? <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. You know, one reading I did for a very famous person, a chicken came through. <laughs> I swear! I thought, are you kidding me? And I'm like, what's it doing, bark? I'm like, what? It was a chicken. So truly, it's an amazing experience <laughs> because, you know, they have souls. So a lot of people have, <laughs> true story. Uh, actually, it, was, it had black feathers as well. I'm like, it's got a black feathered chicken. It's going like that. And I'm like, that's dead. <laughs> and it was an Ingham chicken. <laughs> There's a bit of a plug for Ingham. Um, I don't work for them. Um, <laughs> But really, they, uh, animals do come through also. So it's not just our you know, uh, relatives and our friends and whatnot. It is also our loved pets. And I'm telling you, there's dogs because I can still feel them around my legs. So, so that's going to be interesting. Now, basically, I'm going to start because I've got this man that's very persistent talking to me in my, in my ear. And I feel like he's someone's dad. So basically, before I, be okay, hold on. Before I begin with him, um, when I start relaying the messages that I receive. If you can relate to it, please put your hand up. Sometimes what happens is two people relate to it or a couple of people and then we need to almost dissect the message to kind of know who it's for. And trust me, I'll know who it's for. I am psychic, okay? So are we all cool with that? Yeah, are you ready to start? Fantastic, because this guy is not leaving me alone. <laughs> okay, I have a, a gentleman coming through. I feel like he's a father because he's talking to me almost like he's giving me like dad's kind of advice. It's quite interesting because I'm actually getting a name with him. I feel like there's a name Bill connected to him. I've got the name Bill. Can anyone relate to that? Okay, can you relate to that? Is your father crossed? Is his name Bill? Okay, I'm with you. Darling, can we get the microphone over here to the front? Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, 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 hi. I think I'm with you because I've got your dad here and he's, he's looking at you and it's quite interesting because he's quite a, a lovely man. It, it's, why do I feel like he served or something? Did he like wear a uniform? Was there something with a hat that he would wear and people would know this about him? He served in, um, he served in World War II. Get out. Is that the, pop, the red poppies? Yeah. That's why he keeps showing me. Okay, this is you. Your father, it's quite interesting because um, quite a youthful looking man, I've got to be honest, because he, he doesn't look old. So when he comes forward, he's got quite a, a, a little face. I feel like he's got a chiseled jaw. And it's interesting because he looks at you and it's almost like, is this your mum? Or have you, is your mum, has your mum crossed also? My mum passed away nine days ago. Oh. Today was her funeral. Because he's bringing your mum. And then, and I just felt like she would have been here. I felt like it's something she would have been here. Oh, sweetheart. 
Oh, he just said that he's got the love of his life back. They were, they were really close. Can you relate to the name? I almost want to say like Jacqueline or Jackie. My name's Jackie. <laughs> Seriously, this is a good first one. <laughs> That's really good. It's fantastic. That's fantastic. Okay, so you're Jackie. They call my name is Jacqueline, but they call me Jackie. Beth is like, I was like, Jacqueline. Ja okay, that's you. Your, your father shows me he's, he's got your mum. Your mum's thanking you. And I feel like she was thanking you for what you were doing for her. It's quite interesting because I feel like you were present and you were there when she was passing because it's almost like she's saying, thank you for being with me. Thank you for looking after me. She's put a nurse's cap just on you just then. So it's almost like you were either nursing her. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Oh, she's lovely. She's a little one though. She's tiny, cause she's just walked in. And your father, I have to be honest, he's good looking. He, he's got the red poppies and I think it's because he's served. Uh, your, your mum, tiny, she's like, I feel like she's giving me Anzac biscuits. So I feel like, dude, I don't know if she would ever make them, but. She used to always bake them. Oh, seriously, because she's, she's, she's doing that. And I feel like she's actually running. She's tiny, she's smaller than me. I'm quite, I'm five, six, but. <laughs> oh God, I was thinking something's gonna pop. But, <laughs> but she was just running with a plate of Anzac biscuits behind your father. And, and your dad's kind of saying, I'm okay and I'm really happy and I've got mum with me. Do you know, your mum just said, I saw, my, I saw him, I saw him. I saw him. Did she talk about him before she died? Or was there something with your dad? Because it's almost like she, she knew she was going because she saw him. Well, mum's got dementia, but on Thursday... She brought him up. She had a fall on his birthday. And then 24 hours later, she died. You know, I believe things happen for a reason. And there is no coincidence that yeah. that happened. Your father, as much as I don't want to say that he's happy it happened like that. He kind of is because he's showing me like it had to do with him and, and instantly on the day, you were like, oh my God, dad, dad was with her. It's like you knew. I said that to my sisters. I said, dad's here taking mum. Get out. That's what happened. That's what happened. Did she not die instantly? I don't feel like she died instantly, did she? No. Because I feel, okay, because I feel like what happened was when she, so I get taken into scenes, I'm very visual, I hear a lot from the dead people and I also see, call them dead people, they're not really dead because they're talking, so really, the spirit world, forgive me for saying that. Um, but I get taken into scenes and as she falls, I don't believe that she like hurt herself enough to die there. I feel like she was actually taken somewhere and she passed in another place that she was found. I don't think she died on the scene. And your father was at the foot of the bed. And it's almost like I can see him at the foot of the bed. She's on a, in a single bed. I can see this hurt, almost like lying down. And he's at the foot of the bed, like waiting for her. He's like calling her my darling. He's like waiting for her. And it's interesting because I feel like a lot that I'm saying, you understand that. When mum was lying in the bed, I looked at my mum and I could see my dad's face. And I thought, Dad's come to get her. A hundred percent. And she was trying to um, talk to me and say something, but she couldn't get She the tried words to tell out. you that your father was in the room. And she just couldn't get the words out. I thought, she, what are you saying? Your dad was in the, in the room. That's what she was saying, because she saw him. She saw him. And she's saying, now you know, you always wondered what her last words were. Do you understand that? Yes, yes. Thank now you know. That's good, beautiful. Your dad's there. Your dad's there. Do you have a little boy? Yes. Okay, I don't know why, but your dad's around the boy, okay? And when I look at him, it's, this is probably gonna sound weird to you, but I feel like there's a lot of your father in, is that your son? Yes. I feel like your dad, I know this might sound crazy, but I feel like there's a lot of your dad in your boy. So I feel like when you look at your son, you might actually see your father or you might actually think of your dad. And this is really unusual. I'm getting a lot of names with you. So I feel like people always call each other by their, their Christian name, their first name. Yeah. Is it the name almost like Zachariah or? My son, Zach. Seriously! <laughs> I have never met you in my life. I mean, you can't even make that up. Like, and that's your son? Son. Darling, your dad is with Zachariah. I'm calling him Zachariah, so I don't know if that's Zachary. Zachary. Call him Zach. <laughs> yeah, <thank you. laughs> this is a really good first message. 
See, everything Sarah said, it's all true. <laughs> that's, that's your dad and that's your mum. And what's really interesting is I feel like your mum would have actually wanted to be here at something like this. And it's funny because she's thanking you for coming. So I almost feel like, I don't know if you nearly didn't come or if you were like dragged along. Because of the dates had changed. Yes. Like I kept on saying yes, but because mum's funeral was today, I wasn't going to come. But I thought, I have to come. You know what? There is no coincidence that that happened today and that you're the first message. <laughs> like, her spirit is so... Oh, darling, can you please hug her? I, I, can't, I can't reach. I mean, I can try to jump, but I don't. <laughs> she, she's so, so happy. And she thanks you so much. She loved her send-off. Oh, thank you. She loved it. She loved it. She loved the flowers that were chosen. <laughs> The flowers and you chose the right ones. I feel like they were her favourite flower or something. Yeah, yeah. Do you understand that? Yeah. I'm no flower expert, but I can see them in my head. Don't ask me what it is because I don't know flowers. But, but I can see them. And she said that that's what she wanted. Oh, beautiful thing. You needed to hear that. You needed to hear that. You're beautiful. They love you so much. God bless you. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> wow! Wow! Unbelievable! That was amazing. Oh. See, it's quite interesting because these shows are truly profound. And I know it's funny because it, I'm doing it, like, but it's truly profound because even for me to receive that stuff, how does that happen, right? There's no way you can make that up. That was your mum and dad, darling heart, and they will always be with you. God bless you. Wow. Okay, I'm going to move to the next person because I've already got... I want to say a lady coming through. It's interesting because she wants a, a woman and I'm trying to see if she's sussing out an area of the audience because she's saying they're sitting here and I feel like this lady that she wants to talk to is with her mum or her mum is with her. Um, I think this is an aunt because I feel like she's talking about an aunt, like she's an aunt. Where are you? She can see you. I can hear that she can see you. I'm like, but I can't. She can see you. Um... I don't know where she's talking about. Is there someone here, it's a lady that has an auntie that's passed over and I feel like it had something to do with the head. Is that over there? I can't see. Over there, can we get over there? Yes. Oh, hold on, sorry, okay. And who was the other hand? Okay, we've got you. Oh, that's interesting, you're next to her. Three, okay. Can anyone relate to like an Ida or an Ada? Hello. <laughs> has your has your auntie crossed? Oh, I think I'm with you. Can we go to that lady? I can't see up there, but there's someone up there. Oh my god, I'm really. All right, this is this is Auntie Ada. Can this I is Auntie Ada. Okay. Are you freaking out? No, because I was uh, my great grandma. I used to call her mum. Everyone called her mum. Right. So when you said mum, I was like, maybe it's mum. And then you said an auntie, and then Ada, and so it's her. It's you. What was your name? Josie. I think I think I'm with you. I can't really see you, but yeah. I'm with you. Okay. Um, this lady, she comes through. It's quite interesting. Um, kind of old fashioned. Yeah. Okay, because I've got this very old fashioned thing about it. She's lovely, yeah. uh, but she is a very much around mum. So uh, it could be that lady, your grandmother, that you call mum? Yeah, my great-grandma. Gra okay, but you called her mum? Yeah, everyone called her mum. Okay, that was her name, basically? Yeah, mum. Got you. Okay, because <laughs> Aunt Ada's with mum. Okay. All right. Now, has, has mum crossed? Yes. Because mum has just stepped forward with Aunt Ada. Oh, my God. Okay, they're together. What's really interesting is... I can't really see your face, but I'm sure you're <laughs> shocked because I can hear it. Um, th when they come through... But your mum's alive, though. Your, yeah. your room. Okay, good. Because I, I don't feel like that's your mum. No. <laughs> okay. But her name is mum. She's with, she's with Auntie Ada. Yeah. And she stands here. And what's quite interesting... By the way, I'm going to try to get through as many people as I can. So I'm going to try to deliver as many short messages, long messages. I'll try to get through as many people. Um, but I feel like she needs you to know that they're together and that they watch over you. Almost like kind of like your guardian angel, kind of. Um, I don't really talk about angels that much because, I mean, they're cute and fluffy and whatever. But... You know, I, I think that our spirit 
you know, loved ones are, are, are very more important in some way because we can remember a lot more about them. And that's why I like to talk to them as opposed to angels because I feel like if you talk to angels, you can make anything up and yes. it's, you can't make this up. Um, but they're together and they want to let your mum know. So I feel like it's on your mum's side. Yeah, it is. Okay, they want to let your mum know that they're together and they're really happy. They watch over her. I don't know why, but I almost want to say that there could have been an accident that was avoided and I feel like they were protecting this accident. So I don't know if someone had an issue with driving or if there was something with a, a car, but I feel like they were protecting the, the people in the vehicle. So I almost, I don't know how, I can't see your face, but do you drive? Yeah, I do. Okay. Um, um, I'm really careful. I haven't recently crashed, but my mum... Your mum? When she was younger, like before I was born, she was going to get her licence, but I think she crashed. Oh, God. Or something. Okay, well, what's interesting is these women don't want that to happen again. Okay. So, so they will protect your mum and they'll protect you driving. It's very clear about the driving. Okay. And I think that they, they watch over your, your family very much on the mum's side. Okay. And, and they love you a lot. Okay. They love you a lot. And I think that you're going to be okay. You've got a decision to make and it's a career choice and I think that you're going to make the right one. I keep being told I'm going to have to decide something, but I just had a baby, so there's no career in my mind. So. You'll go back to one. Okay. So don't decide it yet then. But you know what, with you, I can't see any of you, <laughs> but... Um, you can see me now. A little bit, kind of, <laughs> not really. Um, <laughs> um, but, but you will make the right decision with that. And I think, obviously, congratulations on having a baby. Um, you will find that in, in a few years, you'll, you'll get almost like you feel like you want to work in something. And you'll make the right decision with that. Okay. All right? And your loved ones will help you with this. Okay. All right, God bless you. you. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. Fabulous. Okay. I'm going to switch again because I've already got another one. Um, there's a lady again coming through. Again, I feel like she's an aunt. So I feel like there was another one that had the hands up for the auntie again. It could be over here because I kept looking over there. Lady in black. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. What's your name? Amber. Amber. Do you want to go over there? Did she pass from something with the head? Yes. Okay. Yes. She passed with something from the head? Yeah, yes. Okay. Um, and you're her niece? That's correct. Okay, because I feel like she's looking at you like it's my niece. So this is your auntie. Um, she's very straight talking. I feel like she will tell you off or I feel like she would say things to people. I feel like she's like kind of like, don't do this, don't do that, do this, do that. Like she's very, she'll, she'll be really brutal almost. And, and it's funny because she's quite lovely, but she's very straightforward with things. Yes. Okay. I think I'm with you. Yes. I think I'm with you. Um, she was quite young when she passed. That's right, yes. Okay. She's so grateful for you supporting the family. So I feel like she's happy she watches you with the family. She watches you stay with the family. She's saying that you're very close to, to even my children. It's almost like just staying close to my, my kids. And I, for some reason, when I look at you, she almost makes me feel like she wants to say, I'm happy with where you are in your life and I've never left your side. You would have been very close to her. She loves you a lot. Yes, yeah, we're very, we're very close growing up. Yep. Um, I'm very close to her daughter. Right. We grew up like sisters. Okay. And we did have a bit of a, a falling out at one point. But you've reconnected? Uh, with her daughter? Yes. Yes. She's happy about that. Okay. okay. I think it was a misunderstanding. She just goes, ugh, like that. <laughs> okay. Like, ugh. Because she's very straightforward. She'll tell you. Yeah. And I think what she wanted is you to not leave her daughter. Okay, so she wanted that reconnection. She's really happy about that, okay? Um, it's interesting because I also feel like there's a fatherly energy around her. So I don't know if her father had crossed or yes. if it's like her dad, because she's, like, she's saying, my dad's with me. Yes. Has her father crossed? Yes, yes, he has. She's with her father. That would be my pa. That's your grandfather. Yes. Okay, he's coming through and they're together. And what's interesting is they actually stand either side of you almost like really supporting you and, and your life. And I think that this man had a lot of energy because he just like, he's making me feel like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> he's hilarious. He's doing that. And you know what he just said? He just said in the spirit world, he's moving a lot. So I feel like before he died, I don't feel like he was able to like move that well because he just showed me like he's moving a lot. Was there a problem with his legs or did he stop moving before he died? Mm, not really, no. Okay, because he's moving a lot. I feel like he's all over the place and He's physically doing that, okay? So I feel like his, his mobility 
It, it could have been a problem for him. He's not like that anymore in the spirit world. Okay, he's, he's actually free, okay? I see a lot of land, so I don't know if there was a farm or if there was something to do with like a lot of greenery, but there's a lot of, does that make any sense? Uh, yeah, they, they grew up, as a family, they grew up with an orchard and, and so forth, yes. Okay, and it was like a, a big acreage or something? Like an a acreage, lot of yeah. Acreage, okay, because they've got that in heaven. Oh. All right, that's their version of heaven. And it could be because they lived on that and they experienced that in this living world, but in heaven, that's what they've got. Oh. And, and they, they're together, and I've got to be honest, your granddad's lovely because he, he's just like weeding or something. <laughs> it's like he's, he's going through all the stuff. It's, do you understand that? I feel like he hated weeds. <laughs> he, was a, he was a very avid gardener. And Beyond. He, yes. Yeah, like, a like pristine garden. Pristine. Yes. Okay, because it's like he's like, he doesn't like weeds. No, <laughs> no he, he would be out there all the time. He you know what's hysterical? I hate getting dirty. And... <laughs> And I felt like just then I wanted to jump into like some dirt and, and pick the weeds. So I feel like he would do that. And he's doing that in the spirit world. And it's funny because your auntie is kind of being like, that's him, that's him. <laughs> so I feel like this is something everyone will remember about him. Yes, yeah, he, yeah, he was very, very, very much a gardener and had it just looking perfect. Perfect, isn't it? Yeah. So manicured? Extremely manicured. Okay. Yeah, not, not, not a blade of grass out of... I know, I can see. It's like, yeah, he's not letting anything kind of stray. It's like, yeah, get rid of that stuff. He's doing the exact same thing in heaven. And I feel like when it's your time, which isn't anytime soon, you will see him and he will be there gardening. And he will be there. Yes, true. And he's like, oh, there's bloody weeds. That's what he's doing. And I feel like you have memories of him actually doing that. <laughs> Perfect. They're watching over you and they're very happy and God bless. Thank you. You're welcome. You. That was good. I felt like I was in mud. I felt like I was weeding. It was like hysterical. It was like, oh. Okay. I'm going to switch very quickly. Um, I don't know where Sarah is. She was. Oh, hello. You know, I kept talking about dogs before, remember? Okay, I feel like I've got a dog here. Oh. Okay. Yeah, no, I don't think oh, it's yours. Oh, back on. Hello. Oh, she's back on. <laughs> it's all right. That's fine. She, she, she can talk underwater. Um, <laughs> there's, there's a dog here. And to be honest with you, he was upstairs and now he's on the stage. Um, I, I suppose I understand why he's allowing that because he's not necessarily human, but um, he's very obedient. But there's a black dog here that I feel like is kind of going up and down this area. Can it, has anyone got a black dog that passed? We've got three people, a few people. Okay, let me get some more information. There's a few hands here, okay? Um, okay, he thinks he's a human, but I know he's not because it's a dog. And this isn't going to sound really weird, but I feel like he wants to drink alcohol. <laughs> I know that sounds really funny, but I think he's drunk. <laughs> oh, that sounds funny. Can anyone relate to that? Can, anyone, can you relate to that? Black dog passed? Drunk? Like it, okay, I know this sounds hysterical. Can we go over there? I'm telling you, I've got this black dog here that feels drunk. Okay, so you can relate to the black dog in spirit? You can relate to the alcohol with the dog? Yep. Okay. I think I'm with you, darling. Um, <laughs> this is hilarious. I hope there's not like any, yeah, oops. Oh, but he's in spirit, they can't do anything. Um, <laughs> he just, he was actually bothering us upstairs. I'm like, oh my God, Sarah, there's this dog that like it's truly would not, and he would do that. He wanted to be involved with any, everyone. You know what's weird? There's another dog with him. Yep. Yep. There's another one. Yep. You know what? There's a, I think there's a female dog with him. Yep. Oh. He loved the ladies. Yep. Because he's, he's, <laughs> he loved the ladies. This is hysterical. It's a dog, but it's true. Um, because the black male dog, he's got like these ears. I feel like there's a pointy ears thing. I don't know. Uh, this is when I knew my father. He used to breed dogs. I don't know breeds. But pointy kind of like look. Greyhound. Right. Right. Yep. Because I've got that thing, that snout. And I don't have that. So, oh, actually. <laughs> I do spend a lot of time in Los Angeles. <laughs> um, <laughs> got to get some things done. Um, <laughs> who would have thought I'm getting tips from the dog? But <laughs> he's, got, he's got this snout, very pointy. Um, it's interesting because he's, he's very much wanting to drink the alcohol, still, mm -hmm. 
Did he like red wine? He had um, spindle cell sarcoma, so Don't he had a bucket is. list. Oh! And part of his bucket list was to drink his red wine because, <laughs> yeah, he... The dog had the bucket list? Yeah, yeah. We took him to the police station and we found his mum and, yeah, we took him to the fire station and... He was in the local paper and so he was only five, so he was a baby. Okay, wait a second. I don't have kids. <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Trust me. So, not only is that right, I have to say that's probably one of the craziest stories I've ever heard. Because this dog wants his red wine. And he had a bucket list. And the wine was on it. Oh, Get out of here. What the hell? You know what? If you could, if I, if I wrote novels, it would not even be classified, you know, like truth is stranger than fiction. So true. He's drinking his wine. He's beautiful. Okay. And it's interesting because you knew he was going to die. All right. Yep. Because I could see you holding him. I can see you knowing that he was going to pass. Yep. And as, as, He's being held. I actually felt like his final days. I don't know why I'm seeing a beach, but I'm seeing like a oh beach. My God. On his final day, we woke up at five o'clock to watch the sunrise. Yeah. And yeah. Was that near the beach? At the beach, Altona Beach. Yeah. Altona. <laughs> um. <laughs> personal, personal joke. Um, <laughs> I'll turn <off>. um, <laughs> uh, Oh, that's hilarious. He's at that beach. Yep. His spirit is at that beach. Yep. And I actually feel like the decision that you needed to make for his passing, because I feel like you had to make a decision. So it was yep. almost like you had to decide yep. to do it. Yep. Okay. Um, it's like he's calling you mummy. Yeah, oh, I'm getting emotional now because like... <laughs> You know, because he was like your child. He was, he was. He was a good boy. Really good boy. Yeah. And you know, he wasn't like an old dog, but let me tell you, in the spirit world, pretend he died really old if he didn't. Pretend he did. He'd still be like a little kid, mm. kind of, because he's got that energy in him. Yeah. Okay? And he's got this female dog with him, and I don't know if that was yours as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and she passed recently? She just passed in February. <sighs> See, animals do go to heaven. You know, a lot of people say, I believe in your work, but animals not. I'm like, mm, trust me, they do. Um, I haven't been there myself, thank God. But, <laughs> but I know what I know and I experience what I experience. And now you guys are all voyeurs, really, looking at this. It's, it's voyeurism that's like, G-rated. Um, but, but truly, it's, it's they're together. And this female dog... Um, was it like an M? Did she have an M in her name? Missy. Missy. Yep. Okay. I couldn't get it, Missy, but I, I, I knew it started with an M. Yep. She's with the boy dog. She's with Tony. Tony. Yep. She's with him. Okay. And they're together, and I feel like they're both running up to you. And let me tell you, did you buy another dog? I bought another, I bought another one. And we foster failed another one, so we've got another two. You've got new dogs. Yep. They know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they know. Let me tell you. Oh my God, this is hysterical, but it's true. If you had a plug in my head, you would literally think, oh my God. Um, I'm so glad I'm able to share it and I can speak English. Um, <laughs> no, because it's easier, you know, because obviously you guys understand English. Um, <laughs> what happened was the black dog, the male, he jumped up onto this and he just said, he's like kind of showing me there's another dog there. Mm -hmm. So there's a place where your dog, the boy, I think would either sleep or stay on, yep. but I feel like it's a couch. Or it it's, is a couch. It's a couch. Yep. Yep. I knew it because I'm like, oh, wait a second, he's taking me to the couch. Mm -hmm. It's not red though. No, no. No, because no. that's very, that's very <laughs> us. <laughs> <laughs> Dogs, that wouldn't last. I, I feel like he just jumped onto this. I, in my head, if that was me, I'd be like, get off that couch. But, but he just did that and he sees the other dog on there. Mm -hmm. And it's true, he's around the dog. Yep. So I feel like in many ways you will see characteristics of this new dog in um, the boy, the Tony, whatever his name is, the, the black dog. <laughs> he influences the new dog. Yep. 
Yeah. All right. Yeah, the new dog's acting up now, so Tony. Yeah. Tony's yeah. playing with him. Yeah. <laughs> True. True. That's why. Yeah. That's why. So you'll find that with training and whatnot, it might be a little bit difficult, mm. but you'll get there. Cool. All right. So God bless you. You're so welcome. I knew, I told you there were dogs. I knew it. That was amazing. <laughs> wow, that was pretty good. Um, there you go. See, there's always a, oh, I've talked to dogs before, but two together like that, that was different. A drunk, <laughs> drunk, drunk. The red wine, never heard of that in my life. See, that's why, what I, what I love about my work, and I say work, but really it's a vocation, it's a way of life for me. I was born this way, I'll die this way. It exposes me to such an arena that I would never normally imagine. And I think a lot of you tonight are gonna leave with that exact same epiphany. True? Yeah. How true is that? Okay, let's see where I wanna go now. Okay. All right, there's a gentleman stepping forward. He's a little bit, I don't know if he was a skeptic, but, uh, which I don't really care. Um, <laughs> Sorry, mate. Um, he, he, he's almost like scared to come through. He's a father and he's got, I feel like it's his daughter and maybe his wife in the audience. I don't know what this is. Okay, now I've got a man here. He's not into my work. Quite honest about it, but I'm quite honest back saying don't care. <laughs> and I have him stepping forward like he's very uh, simple, um, jeans sort of guy, uh, doesn't shop with me. Um, <laughs> I'm, like, I'm a bit flamboyant, a bit, you know, um, yeah, credit card hates me. But, um, <laughs> but this man is very basic. Uh, I see him in jeans, hesitant to come through. I feel like he's got, uh, not even stubble, a beard, like, like, you know those beards? I feel like it's a big beard though. Like a beard kind of thing. Um, okay, come on. I don't know if his name's like Russell. Okay, I think I've said something. <laughs> and here I was over here thinking it's over here. Could you relate to a lot of that? Yeah. All of it? Okay, because I wasn't looking at you and I couldn't hear you apart from the, oh my God. Okay, is this your dad? My dad. Your dad, and did he have a beard? Yeah. Okay, and is he a jean sort of guy? Yeah. And his name's Russell? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And you lost him this year. Did you? Are you, are you your mum? Are you his wife? Yeah. Huh. That's him! That's him! He said it's what? Can we get over there? Can someone, oh, do you have a microphone? Yeah. When we walked in, Erin said, Russell, be, your dad will be saying, shh, Russell will be saying this is bullshit. What are you doing? <laughs> get out of here! I just said he said that! Because he goes like, I want to come in, my daughter's there and my wife is there, but I don't believe in this. I thought, well, don't come. <laughs> Can you talk in the microphone? I can't hear. That's exactly it. That's him. That's him to a T. That's him. Truck driver Harley Rider. Get out! No wonder he wouldn't shop with me. Because, <laughs> because it's so funny. You know what's interesting about that, though? He's smiley though, like, as, that, like he's got this smile. I feel like I can see his face and he's like so happy and so cheery. And I feel like even though he's not into this work, I feel like he would still be very respectful. And even though he thinks it's bullshit, he kind of now knows it's not. Um, <laughs> um, very much around you guys together. Uh, did someone get married? Was there a wedding around someone? I got married. Before he died? Yeah. Because you know, what was that? I organised the wedding in three weeks. I pulled it forward because Dad was dying. Oh. You know what he just said? He thanked you for that. <laughs> oh, sweetheart. Oh. 
Oh. Let me tell you, for someone who's like hard like him, he's actually quite emotional now. Hard. Hard. Like blokey, like from a town kind of guy. You know, kind of thinks I'm weird. Yeah. That's him. It's all right. He's not my type either. <laughs> but that's him. That's him. And his name's Russell. Yep. Unfreaking believable. He is around you guys and he thanks you for the wedding. He thanks you for the I actually feel like he was present at the wedding. So it wasn't just moved, he was no, present. Yeah, he Did was, he walk with you? He walked me down the aisle. Do you know what? He didn't die long after that. Oh, no. Because you know what he just said to me? He said he every ounce of energy he had, it took for him to walk down that aisle. Did. Yep. Did you have like an outside wedding or something? Yeah. In, a, in, the, in their garden. In mum and dad's garden. You know why? Because as I saw Russell, I feel like I'm calling him by his name now because he gave me his name. Russ, Russ. <laughs> Russ. <laughs> Russ. <laughs> did he drink beer? Yeah. Because yeah. he only just did. He goes, do you want, do you want a beer? I'm like, yeah. Do I look like I drink beer? <laughs> 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 I'm like, okay. Um, <laughs> he loved beer. Because in many ways, I feel like this man, oh, he's got this beard thing. Yeah, really big one. Oh! He had a really big one. Like long? Really long. That's why when they're like goatee stubble, I'm like, no. no it's like, long. it's almost like Father Christmas. Yes. Yeah, it was. But he wasn't fat. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he had a beer belly. No. What was that? He had a beer belly. Beer belly. <laughs> yeah. But you know what? He's tall and slim though. Yeah. Because he's actually not wide. Because I said Father Christmas, he goes, hey. I'm like, yeah. it was just, I feel like maybe it was the colouring or the way the beard was. Yeah. Uh, that's him. And he just, he gave me a beer. I'm like, oh, and like a can. Yeah. Um, no judgment. No judgment. Just not really my thing. <laughs> what did Larry King say? Beverly Hills Palatial Home. Yeah, I'm kind of used to that. But, 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 I, I am open to everyone. Cracked open this beer thing. I call it a beer thing, because I mean, when have I ever touched them? And, and he's like, like this, like this. I'm like, I actually think he drank even before he died, because it's almost like he... Yeah, we gave... No way! Oh, come on! Because he said he was drinking his beer before he died! Yeah, we gave him a Guinness the day before he died. It was in his tube. In his tube. Can you talk him from the thing? Yeah, it, down his nasogastric tube, in his nose, we, we gave him a Guinness the day before he died. He needed another drink. Wow. <laughs> Hashtag wow. <laughs> because he said, you know what? I knew I was going to die and I wanted my beer. Yep. He wanted a cigarette too, but I couldn't. <laughs> You know what's so funny? <laughs> God bless him. He didn't have the best teeth. No. False teeth. <laughs> did, he, did he like have teeth that came False, in and out? Yes. False teeth. Yeah. You know why? Because and he I just used to push them in and out at us. Freak us out. <laughs> he just did that to me. <laughs> he just did that to me. I'm like, oh my God. He's got these teeth that like in and out of his mouth. I'm thinking, what is he doing? Oh my God, I feel like, oh my God, I feel, oh, that was weird. I feel like he just spat, actually. <laughs> Did he have a spray? Yeah. <laughs> what? With love. <laughs> Hold on, I can't hear you. With love. With love. <laughs> Gave me a bit of that love too, darling. <laughs> Honest to God, I swear to God, I feel like he just spat at me. But we, you know, not on purpose. He's just like, you know, there's a thing. Unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. You know what? <laughs> huh? He's making me! <laughs> this is crazy! Okay. <laughs> oh my god! He's making me froth at the mouth. I don't know. <laughs> I'm thinking, dude, we're totally different worlds. Literally. Um, 
See what happens, we take on the mannerisms. It's nuts. I mean, Sarah, you know me really well. I've never liked that, <laughs> ever. Because um, <laughs> he did that and he just, oh, he's putting sugar. He's calling it like sugar. He's like kissing you on the cheek. <laughs> Give, you know That's what's what actually said, so funny? Just before dad died, he said to me, you're the apple of my eye. And then mum said, well, what does that make me? No <laughs> way! You know what's funny? He knows that. He knows that you guys are like that. You know what? But you really looked after him. So I feel like you're thinking, well, what about mine? I was the one! That was you. Do you wear like something around your neck to do with him? Or is there something around your neck? His ring. Huh? His ring. Get out. Because he just goes, I'm on your neck. Yeah. Is that his wedding ring? And do you have something as well? Yeah, I have his Harley Davidson. Get out. <laughs> you know what though? It's not a normal motorbike. My auntie, is my auntie in the audience? Maybe somewhere. Don't know where she is. I can hear some. Hello. Hello, auntie. Um, my auntie uh, looks after motorbikes. She's cute and amazing and mm -hmm. she's into motorbikes. Great thing. Yep. I don't think this is a normal motorbike. Because what's weird is I just felt, oh my God, here I'm really doing it, aren't I? <laughs> I'm thinking, mate, I've gained weight, this is gonna split. <laughs> it's because it just made me like spread my legs and I feel like I'm like this. Yeah, it was a road king. I don't know what that is. A big, big car. Big one? Like that? Like a, like a boat. Like a boat? Yeah. Did he have a fish? Yes. You know what happened just then? I'm doing this and he goes, you suck, let's go fishing. Yeah, that's, he would say that. <laughs> he would say that, he just did. Because I'm like this. All right, actually, I don't even know if I've ever sat on a <laughs> motorbike. Who wants to take me out on a normal motorbike? Um, because he's doing this, okay? And I feel like this is like, yep. like that. He's doing that, yep. okay? And as he gets off, he's taking me to, like, did he have a boat? Yes. Yeah. He had a boat. Yeah. Do you still have this boat? Yeah. Huh. Am I allowed to tell it? No. Hold on. <laughs> We're getting to that. <laughs> sorry, what was your name? I'm so sorry. I'm Karen. Karen. I'm Erin. Karen and Erin, I love that. <laughs> okay, mother like daughter, lovely. Um, he just wants to take me to his boat, okay? Takes me to the boat. He's throwing in the fishing line. I don't know if he actually caught that many fish, but I feel like he's, he's fishing yeah. and he's like bringing them in and ugh. Um, <laughs> But he's doing that, and because uh, I can smell fish. Mm -hmm. um, he's doing this, oh, and he would love launching it on like this car, like a big yeah. car that he had, like a big car. And he would either like maybe he used take to it, drive it up on the back. Of the, of the, of he the loved ocean. doing that. Yeah, he did. He's like, yeah, he did. <laughs> he did. <laughs> it's like, Rrr! Was the motor on the boat the same brand as the actual motorbike? No, no different. Did he have a, no, different. Did he have one and then it swapped? Because I feel like there was something about like it's a Harley. It's kind of like it's vroom. Mm. Must have made the same noise or Maybe, it made noise. Yeah. Noisy. Rev them both. He revved them? Yeah. Because he revved it. Yeah. It's like yeah. straight up. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and it's fun. I oh, know he's hysterical. <laughs> he did that. I oh, know he's doing it now. As he does that, he, he goes home. Did you wash his clothes? You know what? Because he wasn't that clean. No, see, being the truck driver, the first thing I did on a Friday night was say, where's your bloody washing? Yeah. Yeah. He, he you know. get it out of the truck and bring it into me to wash. You know, he's thanking you for all of that. Mm. He's thanking you. You were an amazing wife. Mm. And to be honest, he might not have said that enough, but mm. he's telling you that. And this boat that you still have, did it have something written on it? Is there something written on the boat, on the side of the boat? What's it called? It's called something. The first one was Misty. I'm Ooh. not sure about the second one. What's okay. The name on the second one? I think, I don't know where that noise is coming from. Um, is that me? It's probably static from, no? Okay. The, the, the boat that I feel like you still have that's his, to be honest with you, you might not want it sold, but I feel like you feel like it's just taking space. So there will be a decision here that you need to make. He doesn't want it to go. Yes. I knew it. 
<laughs> what? Knew you knew it? Oh, he did too. Look. Yeah. He doesn't want it to go. I'm thinking, okay. I'm thinking, what is she going to do with that? You know what? He doesn't want the boat to go. It's actually hilarious. Before you came here tonight, I wonder if you actually thought, oh my God, he's going to say something about the boat. Did you know you were going to get a reading or did you have a feeling? No, I thought we honestly wouldn't. because You wouldn't? Well, uh, because there's so many people yeah. and he was a sceptic. <laughs> I know. Maybe he didn't want to come tonight. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. I love that. They're kind of my favourite readings. And begged and begged and hoped. And you begged and you hoped and you yeah. prayed. You must have spoken a lot. We did. Because, yeah. yeah, turn the radio off to speak to me. You know what? He's happy that you did that because you brought him in. Oh, good. You brought him in. Stay close together always, but I don't think he wants his boat sold. Yeah, good. <laughs> good. <laughs> All right, God bless you guys. Amazing. Wow. <laughs> How cool is that? Are you guys enjoying this? Yeah. Isn't it phenomenal? It's actually phenomenal. It really is. Wow, okay, who wants to come through next? Oh my God, I've actually got all these voices in my head going, me, 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 me. I don't know if that's you guys or if it's them. <laughs> me, 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 me. Okay. Okay. Okay, keep going, keep telling me more, darling. Is there like a Sonia? Oh. Is there a Sonia? <laughs> Who? Can you please pass the phone? Is your name Sonia? Yes, it is. Okay. Can you relate to a grandmother that's passed? Oh, God, yes. Okay. Yep. Mum's mum? Dad's mum. Dad's mum? Oh, and mum's mum. And mum's mum. Who said me to? Sonia's here. Sonia's here. What? How many Sonias are there? <laughs> All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is, let me, let me work, let me dissect this. I think I'm with two of you. So I don't know if I'm with you and maybe you or you, who which, which, whichever one was on you, I forgot. But there's two spirits that are very persistent to come through, okay? Your grandmother, I think there's two of them. So there's mum, mum's mum and dad's mum. Did you spend more time with the dad side one though? Yes. Uh-huh. Okay. I think she's with you. And then with you, is there like a lady that passed and I think that it was like a weird, like unexpected death? Yeah. I've, I've got two of you. They're, they're fighting. Uh, can I work with you first? Because I yeah. feel like you, I think you might be next. Um, because what's happened is your grandmother, actually both of them, they want to both be your favourite, but I feel like your dad's mum was she more was. involved. She was. Did she live with you? Uh, we lived with her. You lived with her? Yeah, because yeah. she's saying we lived together. Yeah. We lived together. Um, she's talking about your dad. Yes. Ha has your dad crossed? Yes. Okay. Because she's with your father. Yeah. All right. So actually funny because she's like, like this. That's it's like she's good. marching. Yes. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Gosh, she's like in her own little world. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. I swear to God. Her son is with her. So your father, God bless him, oh, he was really tired before he died. Yeah, he was. Like really tired. Yes, he was. Like darling, he I'm knew he was dying. Yeah. Yep. Okay, and he shows me everyone making a fuss around him, which I actually think he liked. Yeah, he um, loved it. Loved it. He loved it, didn't he? He had the room full before he passed. D did he flirt with nurses? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know how I know that? I felt like I was attracted to one, I'm clearly not. Like, <laughs> you don't need to be psychic to know that. Um, <laughs> then again, I think someone thought that you were my wife, didn't they? Didn't they think, oh, you guys got married? I'm like, no, it wasn't me and her. <laughs> I was part of it, but I didn't get married to her. Actually, I don't know who's worse. <laughs> Probably me. Because um, he liked flirting with the nurses. Yeah, he does. He was okay. a flirter from way back. What was that? He was a flirter from way back. Beyond? Yes. All right. But is your mum still here? She is. Because he's saying hi to your mum. Mm. All right. I'll have to tell her. Can I tell you? Yep. 
I don't know if there was a division between them or if they didn't always see eye to eye, but I feel like he wants to get that message across to her. So I don't know if it's hard for you to tell her that. Yes, it probably will be. Do you, you understand that? Well, European background, it's a bit hard to kind of say, hey, mum, I just uh, saw a psychic and <laughs> dad, dad came to say hello. Oh, <laughs> I get it. She'll probably like, get the cross out. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I went to church the other day. I didn't burn. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, but Look, I think after Dad passed, she's become a bit more open to everything. She visits he, uh, he visits her. Yeah. So, if anything, she should be more open because he's around her a lot. Yeah. Uh, they kept the same bed? Or is there something about the bedroom? Yeah, the, her, where she sleeps is the same bed. That same bed? Uh, yeah. She's kept her side. So I feel like there's something about the sides that they would sleep oh. on. Oh, she swapped dad. Sorry, my sisters are here too. Oh, your sisters are so here? Is there something about the side that she'll sleep on? Did you watch? Is she now on his side? She's on his side. He yeah. knows. Yeah. <laughs> to be completely honest with you, I think he's telling her to roll over. <laughs> he's, I think he's saying, roll over. He wants that side. Yeah. You might need to tell her actually, she won't be very yeah. happy about that. But off she goes. <laughs> Next side, back to yours. Um, which is hilarious, but that's what he's saying. He's a joker, so he would say that. Yes, okay? he um, is. Lovely man, and he wants you to know, is that your sister over there? Both, one on each I side I can't see them, so I don't know if she's point, <laughs> I see a point. Yeah. Loves you, loves you, and there's another one. Are you the younger one? I'm the youngest. You're, You're the youngest. the youngest one. You're the youngest? Okay, yeah. great. Middle. You're middle? Oh. I'm the oldest. oldest? Okay, we've got <laughs> oldest, middle and youngest. Yeah. Okay, I feel like he needs to tell you he loves you all equally. Yeah, we know. All right, he loves you all equally. And he's so happy that you guys did this. And he's with his mum. Yes, I know. Thank you. You're very welcome. God bless you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> Do I have time for one more? Okay, I'm going to switch very quickly. I've got time for one more. And then we've got an intermission, so you can kind of go out and get some snacks and whatever you want to do. And yeah, is that what happens? Yeah, intermission? I assume. I didn't even bring a change of clothes. I'm not changing. So <laughs> people might have expected that, sorry. Um, I did think of it, but I just, I just couldn't pack. What was that? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. This was not cheap. Um, <laughs> exactly. All right, so let's see where we go. Um, I think there was two girls that had their hand up before. You were one, and were you the other one? Okay, let me see which one of you, because I feel like I'm with one of you. I don't know which, but I feel like I'm with one of you, okay? Perfect. Um, okay, there's a woman that's, I don't know who I'm with, but there's a woman coming through, and it's interesting, because when she looks at you, I feel like I'm with you, I don't know why, um, she's sending you like, does she have a, like a blood clot or like a blood clot? She had a stroke. Like she stroke? Yeah, like stroke? Stroke? Yeah. Was it in the head? Yeah. I think I'm with you. Did you come together? Yeah. Uh, okay. I think I'm with you. Okay. Um, because as she's saying that, I feel like you guys started to glow. So, and it's because you're a group. Um, I, does that make sense? Because like, you're a group. Uh, this is a lady who I think died from the head and I think it's blood clot. So I don't know if she hemorrhaged to death. Does that make sense? Yeah. Is the month of December important? Yeah. Okay, I'm with you guys. I'm with you guys. Has your grandmother crossed also? Huh? Okay. I've got two ladies here. You're all related. Yes. Okay. Okay, mum, sister-in-law, and you're you. Okay. <laughs> okay, you've got this grandmother coming through, and I think it's her daughter. Yes. Does that make sense? Yes. So would that be like your auntie? Yes, it is. Okay, is that on mum's side? Yes. Because she's pointing at you. She goes, I'm in heaven. I'm in heaven. And mum's looking after me. Mum's looking after me. You know what? I actually think that they live together 
Because in heaven, does it make any sense? Okay, okay. Because in heaven, they take me to their house. They've got a house. And I'm, I'm going in. This could sound weird. Is it a far drive from where you guys live? Ballarat. Where? Ballarat. Ballarat. And you're from Melbourne? Yes. That's oh, not close. Um, have I been to Ballarat? Okay. <laughs> trying to think of the demographic. I'm trying to think, what way do I go? That way, that way. Because um, it wasn't a close drive. Okay. But would I be right in saying that your auntie passed before your grandmother? Yes. Okay. Because your grandmother just said, my daughter went, my daughter went. Did she find her? She was with her. She was with her, wasn't she? Was it at the house? She died at the house. Okay, she died at the house? Yes. My birthday, but she passed. Yes. So she's, so, does that make sense? Yes. Was it around her birthday that she died? Yeah, it was the day before her birthday. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Because your grandmother, so that's your mum. She said that her daughter died just before the birthday. Yeah. And this is December. She's saying that. It wasn't around like the 8th. Yeah. The Get out! The 8th! The 8th of December! Huh. Seriously! Okay, that's like one out of 365 days. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, seriously. Like, you know, this is not bingo. This is like, whoa. You know what I mean? And, and for all of you watching, if it looks like I'm amazed, I really am. Like, unbelievable. December the 8th. She goes, that was my daughter. She was really upset. She was actually hysterical. Um, you went to stay with her, or you went to look after her, your mum. Does that make sense? Yes. Did you go there, or did she come? Did you have to go get her, or did you go there? She could come and stay with her for a few weeks and then go back. Yeah, because. Yeah. Yeah. Does that make sense? Do you understand yes. that? Okay. She's been past within the last couple of years, this lady, yes. this grandmother, yes. and the, her daughter, has it been within the last four years or five years? Yes. Okay. That's them. Yeah. They're together in heaven. You know what, actually, you'll see signs from them. You'll see a lot, and they're colourful. Do you see butterflies? Butterflies and rainbows. We saw one yesterday. Rainbows, your mum? Yes. Butterflies, your sister? Exactly. You know that, don't you? Yes. When you see butterflies, because they flutter. Mm -hmm. They flutter around you. And when you see the butterfly, that's your sister. And when you see the rainbow, that's your mum. Yeah. They both love you so much. I can't even put it into it. Do they speak another language? Yes. Yeah, was it Italian or something? Yes. Huh? Because <laughs> they're like talking, like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to argue with them. <laughs> I've got my own fights to battle. <laughs> that's, what, that's what they're doing. And they're talking in another language. Um, but your mum's really happy. Oh, good. Your mum's really happy. She's adorable. She She's is. got this gorgeous little face. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, like cute and, and, and a bit pudgy, but, but in the loveliest way. Because yeah. um, I want to squeeze her cheeks. Yeah. You know what I mean? I feel like she'd be everyone's grandmother, almost. Yeah, she was. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like, like, and she adores you. She adores you. And I feel like she likes you a lot too. So, <laughs> so let me tell you, because if she didn't, you wouldn't be sitting there right now. Let me tell you. She's so happy and she's full of life. And her daughter, which is your sister, yes. which is your aunt. Huh. Your sister died during the day. Yes. Because it was daytime. Yes. And I don't know why, but I'm in the kitchen. Yes. Do you understand that? Kitchen. Was she in the kitchen when yes. she died? Yes. Because mm -hmm. she's showing me the house and I'm being taken into, remember I get taken into scenes. So um, she's taken me into the kitchen. I don't know if it's pancakes or, does that make any sense? My mum would have been cooking pancakes, 
What? Yes. She had the grandchildren and she was making them pancakes. <laughs> oh, come on. Yeah. That's nuts. <laughs> That's nuts! Because she goes, pancakes, I can, she can smell them. Mm. She can smell them. You know what? I think she ate though. Because I feel like she ate the pancakes or ate the food before she died, because I can taste them. So I don't know, if you don't know, or you wouldn't know. But it was after the breakfast she died. Yes. Did she fall, collapse? Yes. That's her to the head. You know what? But no pain. No pain. To be honest with you, it feels like it was just a sharp thing. Like it just like, Shoo. and then she just collapsed. And she's apologising for no one getting a chance to say goodbye, but she didn't know she was going to go. No. Because she was healthy. She was. And fit. Very. Mm. She's actually laughing. She thinks she's fitter than you. So <laughs> no, that's what she said. That's what she said. Because she enjoyed walking. She did. She loved her walks. Yes. She loved her walks, but outside. Yes. She loved to walk outside, she loved nature, all right? She didn't think she would die that young. No. None of you did. She's saying sorry about that, even though I mean, there's nothing she could have done, but she does say sorry. But she needs you guys to know that she loves you so much and that she's with the butterflies. Yeah, I she is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's, she's with the butterflies, okay? And your mum's with the rainbows. And they love you so... Why did I keep getting Sonia? Is that one of you? That's your name? Yeah. First name? Yeah. Because, like, I keep hearing her calling that out. And, and she wants you to know that she's... You know what? There are angels where she is. Remember, I said I don't really talk to angels. I believe in them 100%. But with her, there are angels. So whether she was religious or she was very spiritual like that... She's got angels with her. The last thing she bought Sonia was an angel. An angel. <coughs> she bought you that? Yeah. That's why she kept going, Sonia, angels. Yeah. And you've kept that. Oh, you've got everything that she's bought. You know what? You've, you've collated everything together. Yes. It's all together. Yeah. Oh, she loves that. She loves that. So have you put it in like a box or something? Is everything like put it together? In my living area. It's, it's like an altar? Everything she's given me. Yeah. Looks like an altar, almost. I feel like it's like put... Bookshelf, yeah. She loves that you've done that. And she needs you to know that she'll always be with you. She loves you a lot. And her sister, she goes, my sister, I'm with mum. They're together, all right? God bless you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> wow. It's really good. I'm really enjoying this. Are you guys loving this? Yeah. It's amazing. It's amazing. Okay, so I've got time for one more before break. Okay, let me see if I can go. Hmm. What did you just say? Did you say something? Or did you think something? I feel like someone just heard you. Is that weird? Or maybe you think out loud, I don't know. <laughs> like I, I heard something. Isn't that weird? Like I heard that. Okay. Um, this is a child that's coming in. Like baby. Um, a twin? My twin? Did someone have a child, like twins, but one didn't make it? I think I'm up there. Is that you again? Did your child have a twin? My partner's sister had a twin, but it Died? didn't go through. Didn't make it? Yeah. So your partner's sister. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if it's anything to do with me, but... <laughs> it could be. Hold on, it might be. Is there anyone else here that had a child, but one didn't make it, like a twin? You as well? A twin? So one was born and one wasn't? Okay. And that was yours? I could be with you, because I feel like, I, as much as I want to put it with you, I feel like it's a square peg, round hole. It's not going to fit. Um, I'm really honest, and it's not going to work. Um, I think I'm with you. I think I'm with you, darling. 
uh, the front, lovely, lovely lady. Okay. So you've got a child that made it, but the twin didn't. This is you. Is that child a son that is alive? Yeah. Okay, I'm with you. Did you ever find out if that um, was another boy or another girl? It was another boy? Because it's a boy. The spirit's a boy. Yeah. Did you have to bury the boy? You no, didn't bury no. it. It was early. It was early, mm -hmm. but you knew that there were twin boys. Because yeah. I just had a, a look and it's almost like I've got a little blue child, so it means it's a boy. It's almost like he wasn't meant to make it. No. Okay, there were complications with his heart and I actually think that he would have passed at a very young age if he had made it. He was very resilient, but let me tell you that your son who made it would have a lot of his essence in him. So you'll find that he'll have a, there's a side to him that's almost like two people <laughs> because he's got that. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does actually. Okay. Because part of him feels like there are two of him, okay? Mm -hmm. um, Sometimes it can be amazing and sometimes it can be a real pain in the ass. Yeah. Ask his girlfriend. <laughs> Is his girlfriend here? Yeah. Oh, hilarious. <laughs> Who's the girlfriend? You're the girlfriend to this son? Yeah. Is this one of your younger sons or the youngest? No. He's, he's the oldest. The oldest. Really? Yeah. Are you, you're the girlfriend? He's really hard work. <laughs> so, <laughs> because his twin I is saying that. Mm, I right. I always thought, because when the twin was around, he'd get sad. And you know what? I've forgotten all about that. Get out. But when he was little, I used to notice that. Did you? Yeah. Isn't that interesting? But I thought it was the twin that made him sad. Oh, because he could have seen him or maybe had the gift. Probably. As a child. Maybe your son, when he was a little kid, had a bit of the gift. A lot of people, mm. when they're young, they do have this gift. Like for me, I was born this way. Lady Gaga coined that, but I was born this way. So... <laughs> But I believe that all children have a bit of it and a lot of them switch it off, a lot of them don't, okay? I think your son had it because this twin of his is always with him, mm. okay? Um, and you're the girlfriend, okay? Has your father crossed? Huh? You know what? This twin wants to bring your dad in. Yeah, I've wished for that. Did you wish for that? Can you give the, the microphone? Can I talk to you? Did you, did you think of that? Yeah. This twin's like, her dad, her dad, are you okay? Yeah. Oh my God, oh sweetheart. Isn't that amazing that this little baby brought in this dad? Because you're the girlfriend to the, his brother. Your father comes through. I have to be honest, I'm really sad when I look at him. Okay, because when I see him, I feel like he was way too young to have died. And I feel like he, is your mum still here? Yeah. Okay, does she live in another country? Yeah, New Zealand. Okay. <laughs> because it's almost like his spirit, it's like with you and over there. It's like with you and it's like over there. It's almost like he crosses water and, oh, he loves you. Like you're the baby girl to him. It's almost like, were you, were you his young daughter? Yeah. He loves you so much. Like Alan G. Who's Mandy? Me. Sorry? I'm Amanda and he's... Get out! He's the only one that calls me. What's your name? Amanda. Amanda! I just heard Mandy! It's like he's calling out your name. Oh, sweetheart. Did you not, like, nearly come to this? Or was there something like you, you had tickets or you didn't really come or something? Because you were meant to get this. I feel like you were meant for this reading. Rochelle's very, she's wanted this to happen. She, she's the one that brought It's me. long overdue. Yeah, yeah, he's been gone. It's five long years. overdue. Yeah. Because your dad's like, I'm here, baby. I'm here, baby. Oh my God. He used to say that to you, didn't he? I'm here, baby. That's how he's talking to you. I can hear him. Yeah. I'm here, baby. That's my baby. He's so proud of you. You're doing really well. He knows. He watches everything. Something about moving. Did someone move? Or are you moving? Um, no, my brother moved over here. From he New moved, Zealand? And then he moved back. And he moved back? Yeah. Okay, so he moved here, didn't like it, and he moved back. It wasn't for him. No. 
as much as he wants you together, it's not for him. No. You and your brother are very different. Very different. Very. Yeah. I hate to say you're his favourite, but I feel like you are. <laughs> 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 really, truly, I feel that. Um, he just keeps saying, Mandy, like I can he keep hearing your name. Yeah. And, and he's so happy. You might go overseas or something though. There might be some form of a trip that maybe someone wants you to take or almost like someone's like trying to urge you to go on a holiday. Has that recently been discussed with you? I've travelled quite a bit. Yeah. I've been wanting to go to South America. You're going? Yeah. You're going. Your dad's going with you. He loved it. Yeah. Loved it. So I want to go. Loved it. Did he like Peru? Or was there something about like uh, that? It was definitely South America though. Yeah. And he had been before? Yeah. He's taking you with him actually. <laughs> so I feel like he's saying, let's pack our bags. <laughs> let's pack our bags. Yeah. <laughs> he's doing that. Mandy, I keep hearing your name. He's like, Mandy, Mandy, Aww. Mandy. <laughs> that's what he keeps saying. Yeah. Like that's pretty good. <laughs> he wants you to go there. And I think that you will. Yeah. And he's going to be with you. He doesn't want you to pack too much though. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I feel like he would say that. So I feel like it's something that he would, does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> he would say that to you, didn't he? Yeah. Did you travel with him before? Um, no. Because he said this is our first time that we're going to travel together. Yeah. yeah. He wants you to take that trip. Yeah. I think you will. Yeah. And you're going to be all right. I feel like your boyfriend, so your son, I feel like he just, he wants him to hang around, okay? I don't know why, but I think he... <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> I hope I haven't ruined a surprise! <laughs> oh, that's hilarious! I feel like he wants you to marry him. I know this sounds... I feel like I'm not really releasing a spoiler, but... <laughs> but... I think you're good for him, for, for your son. I think that you're good for him. And I feel like you've got a really good dynamic. Yeah, we do. And to be honest with you, you can put him in line. Uh, you're little, you're tiny, you're a petite thing. <laughs> but I reckon you've got a side in you that's a bit like, ah! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. It's true. But I think that your partner needs that. And his twin, so his brother, wants you with him, as does your dad. That's really so, good. so let him know that your dad approves. I love that. <laughs> your dad approves. You always wondered that. Yeah. Your dad approves. And yeah. you know what? One day when you do get married, because it will happen, he will walk you down the aisle. All right? And God bless you. <laughs> Come on out, Harry. I hope he's here. Oh, maybe he's not here. Oh, Hello. yeah. <laughs> I have arrived. Oh, my God. For half a millisecond, I thought, my God, he's, he's in the toot. Okay, enjoy, everybody. The toot. The toot. What's the toot? The toot, the toilet. Oh, no. <laughs> enjoy. Oh, thank you. Wow. What an incredible first half. Wasn't that amazing? Yeah? Thank you. You know, it's actually interesting. So I went to the green room um, during the interval. I like sculled a bottle of water. Um, and I actually felt really emotional, which doesn't really happen to me. Um, but I really did get very moved by that. So it must mean that a lot of people in this audience are very emotional too, because you know, I've done this for a long time, a decade now professionally, which is getting <laughs> quite long, but um, I don't normally get emotional, but I was very emotional. So thank you so much for embracing me so beautifully. And, and this is the first, thank you, thank you. <laughs> And, you know, this is my hometown. I'm very proud to be from Melbourne. I love it so much and truly born and raised and that's why we had to have this as our first city for our tour. And to be honest with you, it's going to be really hard to match this crowd. So thank you so much because it really does take you guys too and I'm so grateful. So thank you. Okay, so. There's a couple of people that were chatting to me up in the green room and I was saying to them, okay, maybe that's why I felt emotional because I felt like they didn't want to leave. Um, so I'm just going to basically go with it. But I had a, a lady talking to me and I felt like she was a foreign lady because she had uh, like a heavy accent and I actually think that she didn't walk well because she has a frame 
or like a walking frame kind of thing. And it's interesting because she's little. I see, I actually see her. Um, I don't hear her as much, but I see her. She has curly hair, short, short curly hair, and she's got like a walking frame. And I feel like she wants to connect with one of her relatives. And I feel like it's a, possibly a woman that she wants to talk to. I don't know why, but I could be... Who? Did she have a walking frame? Yeah, she had a walking frame. Curly hair? I think maybe you. Maybe you. Okay, and this is your aunt. There's a lot of aunties. Isn't that weird? I mean, the good thing about that, normally when you go to these shows, you think that they're all old, but well, they're not, clearly. Um, because I think that this is, is that like on your mum's side? No. Or your dad's sister? No, she's actually my husband's auntie. Husband's yeah, auntie. Yeah. But we called her Zia. I think I'm with you. I yep. think I'm with you. And she had a walking frame? She had a walking frame. Curly hair? Curly hair. Okay, and is he from like another country, your yeah, husband? Yeah. Well, my, well, Italian. Is that, okay, that's what it is. Yep. She had that accent. Yes. Okay, that's her. Okay, okay. because she's kind of like slow yep. and she's doing that. She's around your, your family. So she's around your husband. I don't know if your husband's not oh, really yes, into this. Yes. But there's there's like a big, she's really around him. She's actually swirling around him. Yeah, but she, she my husband was the apple of her eye <sighs> and I was the outlaw. So she didn't like me very much. Oh, get out! Yeah, yeah. Get out! You know what? She's thanking you now because you brought her through. Yeah. <laughs> Hilarious. She's going like this around him with her walking oh, frame no. thing. She's like obsessed with him. So <gasps> yes, it's yes. almost like that to her, it's like her child. So when, and, and I feel like, and obviously he's not a young kid, but I think she babied him. Look, I have to say, she's a spinster, but my husband lived with her for 16 years. Get out. And so when I came along, she didn't like me because- She like, got jealous that you took her jealous, yeah, boy. Yeah. That's why. You know what's hysterical about that? She didn't make that quiet. She told people. So I feel like she would have made things quite difficult for you. She made it, well, it was 30 something years of hell. Aww. <laughs> you know what's sad about that? I think she's quite lovely. So, <laughs> so I'm kind of thinking, I really did like you before that. But, but I think she's quite lovely because what she just did is, although she put you through the ringer, I actually think that her intentions were good. So. You coming into the family, it's not that she didn't like you, she didn't like that she was pushed out. Yes, that's right. So that's actually the truth. And you know what I've just seen, as I look at you, I can't actually see your face because you're kind of like in the darker side of that area. Do you want to stand up? No, it's fine. I, I don't really need your body. It's, 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 <laughs> it's not that kind of show, darling. <laughs> But as I've looked at you, there's another woman. I could, this could be your grandmother. Yeah, nonna. That's, that's, that's your grandmother. Her mother. Because, okay, she's just stepped through and she's like, oh my God, I'm here too. It's a grandmother. Yeah, they were, they were two, the, I should say, the two wicked witches I used to call them. <laughs> no, 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 because, no, because they used You know to what's play. hilarious? You know what's hilarious about that? I think they're still the same like that. Yes. <laughs> so, so in many ways, because she just brought her through. Is that her mum? Yes, yes, that's Nonna. That's her. Yeah. That's her. They, they oh, she loved gossiping, husband. that one. Absolutely. Whoa! Did, yeah. You know what? I feel, I feel like she needs to come to our tribe of people. She'd, <laughs> she'll, she'd love our friends. Um, she's gossiping. It's like, oh my God, did you know? Oh my God. Yeah. You know what? I, she's actually saying this to me, so I feel like she's taking ownership of this. She actually made up stories. About so, me, about me. Just about everything. Yeah, yeah. She made up stories, okay? I actually think she wasn't a bad person either, but she loved to talk. And I feel like she liked the attention of talking about that not yeah. even true stuff. So I'm sorry that you went through that with them both. And they are still together like that. So... I, I deeply... I do, I, look, you I love did, them. I did love them. I know you down do. Because I met them when I was 16, and so mm -hmm. she, she passed on... You know, they I were family to you. And they, you know, sometimes, sometimes in family dynamics, let's be honest, we want to pull our hair out. They might have pulled something else out, you know. <laughs> but, but, but I actually think that there was, there was love there. And they need you to know that, okay? Oh, thank you. And it's funny because um, even though they were awful to you, because they did do some awful things, you were still very good to them. I was. I was very tolerant. But very. only because they loved 
my husband and they loved my children dearly. So, um, you know and what? I thank them for that. They, they really do. And they thank you for not being a pain in their backside. So, because I don't think that they were easy with you. They did love you. But especially um, the lady with the stick thing, the frame. Yep. She was very threatened. Zia, yeah, yeah. Yep. She was very threatened, okay. Her mum... Not as much, but she went along with it. Yes. Okay, because let me tell you, they were just as bad as each other, but the, her daughter would feed it. Almost like, oh my God, did you know? Oh my God. And they would talk on the phone and they would talk about just rubbish. <laughs> but let me tell you that they actually did love you. Thank you. You I'm need to know that. It. And you know what? They, they said to say thank you for actually being a great wife to their, their, <laughs> their boy. That's really lovely. That's really reassuring. Thank you. You need to hear that. All right, God bless you. Oh. Oh. Virtual hug. <laughs> Virtual hug. I just realised I actually can't do it. <laughs> oh, a bit too many Krispy Kremes. <laughs> oh, that's what happens. Doesn't matter. Okay. Who are you? Talk to me. Getting through a lot of people. I love this. That's why I love these shows. You know, you go to some of these shows and we've got a few hundred people here, which is amazing. Um, but sometimes only like five people get a reading. And I'm not judging that, but that does happen. Getting through a lot, which I'm really happy about. So thank you, Spirit. Okay. Oh, I feel like I'm being pulled this way. That's weird. I felt like I was falling over. I feel like I'm in this section of the audience. And I don't know why, but I want to get like... Jill? Is that Jill? No, it's not Bill. I already had you. He's coming in again. I've had you. <laughs> I've had you. I think, did I talk to a Bill before? Yeah. Was that around someone? He's coming back and I'm like, no, hold on. You, we've had you. Um, it's not Jill. Bill? Ben? It could be like a B name, like a Ben. Can anyone relate to a Ben that's passed over? Or a Benny? Is that you? Is his name Ben? Oh my God, what is that? Do you know what? I just realised I'm doing that. It's not really helping. I should be doing that. <laughs> you know, I was blessed with a gift, but not with the gift of height. <laughs> okay, so can you relate to the name Ben? Yeah, my grandfather. That's your grandfather. Yeah. Okay, got you. All right, let me see. And is there the name Mary also? No. Okay. I do get names. So I've got a Ben. I think I am with you. And there's also a Mary. Well, you didn't put your hand up. Oh, you did. Sorry, I didn't see you. And I was on this side. Mary. Mary. And is there a Ben? No, no. Okay, so there's two of you. Who? Benny was a friend. Benny was a friend of hers. Okay, I could be with both of you. Okay, can we get a microphone over to? What's your name? Oh God. <laughs> that is hysterical. You know what? You can't make this up. Okay, I'm, you hold that, you hold that. So, Grandfather Ben's in spirit. Yep. Okay. Yes, he is. I think his spirit is coming forward around you, okay? okay? Because what I, for some reason, see is there's something around your mum also. Has your mum crossed too? No. Okay, he's around your mum then. Yeah. All right, so. Dad. He's your mum's dad. Yeah. That's it. Okay, so he's around mum. Okay. All right, so mum's father, Ben, he's with you. He's around your mum. I don't know why, but I feel like he's helping your mum. So I don't know if your mum's going through something. I can't actually see your no, face, but no, no. he's helping her. Okay. All right, so he's with, he's with his daughter. Right. All right. Okay. And his spirit watches over your family. Yeah. And I feel like you need to tell your mum that. Okay. okay? So let yep. your mum know that her father, Ben, is with her and watching over her from the other side. Okay. Love okay. And you. God bless you. I'm going to leave you with that. Thank so you. thank you. And I'm going to move to you as well. Okay, so the name Mary you connected with? I just, I just connected and she's alive? To see it. No, she's, she's passed. Yeah. Okay, yeah. see, there's two of them. There's yeah, two of I them. Just, I want to show someone. I just texted Mary to my daughters a second ago. Really? Yeah. Like when I said that? Yep. She's an older lady. Yep. How weird. Yep. You brought her in because she took over Ben. Because Ben is around that lady and that lady's mum. And then I heard Mary, and obviously Mary's not a male name. That's the last name. I don't know these people. Does it say Mary? 
says Mary. Get out. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I believe you. It's just crazy. <laughs> like, isn't that nuts? Yeah, just because like Mary. Just isn't that yeah. nuts? You know what? I did a reading once for um, actually a very famous person, and they wrote something down in their phone. Yeah. And I repeated that word. Yeah. Within a second of them writing that. Yeah. And they actually were. I mean, they're really like famous and they were like oh my god there's no way he could have seen that in the phone because yeah. they just wrote it so it's almost like the same thing that just reminded me of that yeah. um mary she's an older woman yeah. she comes for do you have kids oh yeah okay lots of them i've got three children and two grandchildren okay you see you don't look like a grandmother <laughs> um there's there's kids she's around the kids a lot okay um she liked necklaces or yes. she does that make any sense yeah i've got a you necklace of my bag with a photo of her. Get out! No. Is it the gold necklace? Yeah, it's That's in her. Bag. That's her. Is that her necklace? No, it's mine, but I have a photo of her in it. Okay, got you. Cause she loved those sort of necklaces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you understand that? Yeah, she always had like a big pendant thing and her cleavage out. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? She's a little thing as well. Yeah. But let me tell you, when she was younger, yeah. I think she was hot. She thought she was. And she let me tell you, acted like she was. I'm pretty sure because she's swaying her oh hips. Oh yes, oh yes. Has she danced? Oh yes, oh yes. Oh yes. Do you know what song I've got? Almost like the Macarena, na 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 na. Yeah. Like that kind of thing. Oh, she's yes. doing all those movements. Yeah. Charleston, she'd do the Charleston. Charleston, is that like this? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. You gotta kick your leg. She's out. having a field day. <laughs> oh Mary! Oh, she's yeah. a Oh, you were very close to her. Oh yes. You were like seriously, because she looks at you almost like you're her daughter almost. Yeah, that's right. And I don't know if she raised you or if she was almost like with you yeah. when you were growing up. She's with you. You know, she remembers you holding her. Yeah. She remembers you holding her. You know what is weird? Did she have a problem with her legs? Well, right at the end, just she got old, you know, very old. Old? You know what? Because she's showing me she didn't like that. No. All right, because she wants to move and she's doing this. Yeah. I actually literally feel like my hips are going like this. Yeah. She's got good. <laughs> she didn't like that her legs gave up. Yeah. Okay. And I hate to say, but she didn't want to go. Oh, no way. This woman didn't want to leave. You know, sometimes people get tired or they get ready to pass. She wasn't ready. No. She wanted to stay here. Um, can you also relate to the name like Charlotte or Charlie? Charlotte's my granddaughter. Get out! Yeah. Charlotte is my beautiful three-year-old granddaughter. Yeah. She loves her. Does she? She oh, loves we, her. We, we always say she's like Nana Mary. She is so outspoken, my granddaughter. She just told my, mu my daughter today, she said, Mum, you're making me nervous, she's three. You know what? <laughs> because, because, because... She's unreal, we just can't believe the things she says. She's so dramatic. She's so dramatic. Let me no tell you, idea. she's come to the right medium. Because <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you, because she, oh I heard Charlotte, and I thought it was Charlie yes. or Charlotte, She's yes. talking about her. Yes. And let me tell you, she's around her. Yes. And it's quite funny because... She, I think, talks to her. Yes. So I actually think that this girl yes. has the gift. Yeah. She's three. Actually, when I was three, I would talk about spirits. So, you know, yes. um, my, actually, my dad, who's not in the audience, uh, my sisters are. My father called his auntie. This is a true story. I'm going to throw this into it. In America, when I was five, and said that I needed an exorcism. Do you know I only found that story out last year? <laughs> I said to my dad, you know, that would have really saved me a lot of time to know what this was going on with me. He goes, but I thought something was wrong with you. I'm like, nothing! So kids, they do have it, okay? Yeah. And I only found it, I mean, you know, I was, it was last year. And I know that this is a gift now, but if my dad had told me when I was a kid, I probably would have known a lot earlier. I mean, then again, saying that I was a teenager when I really did this, but still, that was a true story. So I think that this Charlotte yeah. has the gift. Yeah. I think that this lady, is that your grandmother? That was my grandmother. Your grandmother. Yeah. She's around her. Right. And she knows that you're a grandma. 
Yes. She yes. knows that you're a grandma. There was children born after she passed though. And I yes. almost feel like, I don't know why, but I want to get like four years or something like around four years. Has she been passed within the last four years? She died Longer in 19, than that? Uh, 2010. Okay. 2010. 2010, so it's been eight years. In the last four years, has, there's been a birth, so Charlotte, obviously. Charlotte. But was there another one? Yes, my grandson. That's uh, it. Roman. That's it, okay. Was he after Charlotte? Yes. That's it? Yes. Because she goes, in the last four, there's been two babies. Yes. Yeah. There's been two babies. Yes. He's a special little one. Yes. He really is. Yes. Is that your son's child? No, it's my daughter's your child. Your daughter's child. And, and they're both from the same M yeah. son. A daughter, daughter sorry. A daughter, daughter, yes. Because yes. she knows that he was born. She just keeps saying, I'm with them. I'm so proud of you as a grandma. Your daughter hasn't had the easiest life. But you know what your grandmother just said? She just said, but you know what? But I'm always going to be looking after her. I think that your daughter goes through a lot and she doesn't talk about it. It could be emotional things. Are you sure you're not talking about her daughter who was my mother? Well, she's talking about a daughter that goes through a lot. That Maybe she's talking daughter. about... Okay, and has she crossed? Yes. Okay. So she's talking about her daughter? Yes, she's talking about her daughter. Why do I feel like there's question marks about her passing? Because when I look at the, the energy of her, she's almost like there was a confusion. She was very... She had Alzheimer's. Oh. My mother. So she was confused? Yes. Literally? Yeah. She didn't have an easy life, that lady? No. No. Oh, yes. darling. Yeah. Are you sisters? Yeah. Oh, sweet. I'm so sorry I didn't look at you. Yeah. You guys can see you now. <laughs> you know what? Your grandma's with your mum. Yes. Your grandma's with your mum. Yeah. Your mum passed after she did? Yeah. Because your, who is that? Your, your I'm sassy. No. <laughs> um, your grandmother talks about how she was there to get your mum. Yeah. Your mum actually spoke about this. Your mum actually spoke about her mum. You know how she had the confusion, the Alzheimer's, she didn't forget her mum though. So it's, it's almost funny because I feel like your mum had passed, but I feel like she would talk about it. Because even though she was confused, she remembered that. And I feel like her dad as well. So has your father crossed too? No. It's her dad. Her dad, yes. He passed many years ago. Yes, yes. Does that make sense? Like he's yes. not as old, I don't think. Because you know what just happened? Your mum, when she crossed, she saw her parents. Yeah. Your grandmother, who was hands on with you, Yep. And to be honest with you, and I hate to say this to sister, I think she really loved you. Yeah, I was the first grandchild. Like that. And I, wa I was with her all the time. Okay. Okay, good. Sorry. Because I felt terrible to say that, but you know, I'm I'm really direct, and that's what she says. Yep. Okay. And she was very much with you, but her husband had died many years before. Yes. Yes. She missed him a lot. Yes. She missed him a lot. Is there the name like? G, G, Gian, Gian, Gian. No, they used to call him Chico. Chi what? Chico. That was his nickname for Ch Fran Francis Francisco. Francisco Chico, Chico maybe. Chico. For, for Ch 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 maybe, maybe. I just heard that, so it could be that. No. And they would call the grandfather that. Yeah. Okay. Could be that. It's cheeky though, because you know what he just said is like. He's like winking at me. You know what? They had a very touchy feely relationship, these people. Yeah. Maltese. Maltese? That's hilarious. You know what? She loved him touching her. Oh. And that's why I think she was always like this, because she missed him. Yeah. <laughs> your mum thinks that it's embarrassing. Your mum was very ladylike. Yeah. Yeah, your mum's kind of like being like, don't do that. Your yes. mum and your grandmother. That's what she always said to my grandma. Don't See? smoke, don't this. Your don't grandmother was a your... rebel. Cover she, your cleavage, she's You know her what? Mother. Your grandmother didn't care. No. She's like, you know what? I've got them. That's it. That's what she's doing. But your mum, she was the opposite. Yes. So they weren't alike. No. You'll see that um, baby Charlotte yes. is going to ruffle feathers. Ugh. All right. She will be a heartbreaker. Yeah. And I have to be really honest. I feel like your grandma is supporting her doing yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. When she starts school, yes. she's going to have a boyfriend straight away. Oh, she, 
Does she, she already have one? She already said she likes the boy from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Oh! He's cute. <laughs> Which one? The little boy from the original movie. Oh. She just told us last week. Oh, Charlie. I've got that on VHS. She, <laughs> <You know> that? <laughs> she told us. She told us. I like I'm boys. <laughs> so I like boys. She said. She's gonna love him. Yeah. And and. And, to be honest with you, your mum doesn't like it. And you know what your mum does? She goes, I'm her grandmother. <laughs> and then you know what your grandmother said? I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> but that's what they're like. So even though they butt heads, there is love there. Oh, yeah. They love each other and they are together. And you know what? I think that, um, was it your grandmother? There was, there was a religious icon that she would wear. Something round, yes. religious, that's right. saint. Yes. That's it. A what? A Madonna. Madonna? Yeah. Oh, okay, I'm like, Madonna, that's not... I was going, maybe actually to her, Madonna is a saint. Perhaps. <laughs> what a Buddha bastard. <laughs> so th there was this, it was the, the, the Virgin Mary. Yeah. Virgin Mary. <laughs> God love her. She would wear that. Yes. All right. You know what's funny though, because even though she would show her cleavage, I think she would still wear this because she felt protected. Yes. So she felt like it would always protect her. She liked to pray yes. and she prays a lot. Yes. She's lit candles just then. Yes. And it's interesting because she, she, she was lighting candles. Um, I don't know much about Maltese stuff, culture, you know, your religion and whatnot, but I feel like there was a day that she would really make important and she's lighting a candle for it. So I don't know if there's a sacred day that had to do with something to do with the, that icon, the Virgin Mary. I feel like she's very connected to that day and she's doing that. So I almost feel like that day will come around. Look into it. I don't know what it is because I'm not from your culture, but there's a day that would celebrate her, that icon, and for some reason she wants you to light a candle on that day. Yeah. Oh, they're, they're very religious. They're just Roman Catholic and right. they believe in Easter and Christmas and all that yeah. sort of thing. Yeah. yeah. I feel like she wants you to, though. Like Any particular day? I'm sorry? Any particular day? It feels holy, and again, because I'm not Catholic, so I don't know mm. um, the, the days, but I feel like there's a, there's a holy day. Um, what are we now with June? <sighs> Easter had passed. I mean, Easter she loved, but I don't think it's Easter. I think it's another day, okay? It could be a Saint something day. It's like a particular day. She wants... Saint Mary. Who? Saint Mary. St. Mary is coming up. St. Mary in August, that's it. All right. The St. Mary Day in August, because it's coming up. It hasn't been. She wants you to light a candle, a white candle. Okay. Okay. And that's for her. Thank you. Does she All have right. a message for me? She loves you. I know that. And apart from the essay she gave you, she, she is always with you and she's very proud of you as a grandmother. Thank you. God bless you. You're welcome. Thank you very much. That was amazing. Lovely. I really liked her. I feel like she would have liked me. <laughs> what can I say? She's got good taste. <laughs> uh, but she would have. Um, okay, let me see where I can go next. Okay, I've got someone that I feel like died in an accident because I've got this part of my head. It's kind of like, like that. Hmm, and I keep poking my tongue out. I've got someone here, okay, I could be totally wrong, but either this person died in an accident and their fa I hate to say this, but their face became a bit disfigured, or this, I think it's a girl, died of a disability or had a disability. Because I feel like there's something that, with her face, there's like a, there's something. Can anyone relate to that? Is it like a sister? Got a few hands here. Oh God, I don't know. In the darkest spot of the audience, of course. Um, can anyone relate to a sister that passed? Okay, I've got, yes. Can you go over there? Can't see her. She's behind the man. Oh, Ben, is that you? Is that Sarah? Oh, sorry, he's brought you. <laughs> Mafia brother, I can't see behind him. <laughs> Joking. I love you, Ben. Um, I can't see that lady. Hello. Okay, can you relate to this lady? My sister died in a car accident and she had head injuries. She hit her head. Okay. Yeah, she had brain damage. Okay. Because I just felt like I died in an accident. My head felt like on this side especially yeah. it was just like... Yeah, it was on the 
right side of the it was a, Okay, so that's your right, that's my left. So yes. this is the side that would be on. I just felt like it was like that. And that's your sister? Yes, it is. Okay. She was, t people tried to resuscitate her. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yes, it is. She yeah. saw them on her. Yeah, that's right. All right, she saw them on her. Yeah. I feel like she's either with mum or is that your dad? Has your dad crossed? It's my dad. Your dad. My your dad. dad's crossed? Yeah. He's watching over his daughter. That's good. Because I just felt like, I felt like I was, I became uh, the, the child and I felt like my parent was with me. And I'm like, yeah. is that your mum? And it was like, no, it's my dad. Yeah. It's your father dad. is with her. Good. Okay. And let me tell you, no more. No more. It's like, it's like I wiped this and I felt like her face is back to normal. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad. And you know what? She, oh, she didn't like how she looked. She didn't like how she looked. It must have impacted her head very badly because... Yeah. She, she hit a rock. Oh. She flew out of the car um, and, and she hit a boulder. The train hit the car and she flew oh. Oh, yeah. because I'm just like, the impact was so, oh, yeah. I actually physically felt like paralysed in one half of my face. That's right, yes. Yeah. No more. She goes, no more. I'm okay now, I'm with dad. I'm with dad and I love you, she said. She said, I love you. I feel like you look after people that are linked to her. Uh, there, there's like you. I, I look after my mother. You, do, do you do you live together or do you look after her? You my mother lives with me and my family. Yes, my husband and children. Yeah. Okay, because yes. they're happy that you do that. I'm glad. I don't know why, but I feel like they don't want her in a home or anything. No, no, it's the right thing to do. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that lovely? Thank you. Because I, I I just felt like your sister was saying, "Thanks for looking after her," and your dad actually as well. Your dad and you were very close. Very close. He loves you a lot. He'll always be with you. And he said, give your mum a kiss on the forehead. Sorry. From him. Oh. All right, God bless you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. Okay. My mum is here. Okay, my mum is here. My mum used to make me pasta. <laughs> Is there a lady in the audience that would make, that makes, actually, I feel like this person's alive that she's talking about, that makes pasta, like actually not cooking it, like actually making it, whether it's, I don't know how to make pasta, but you know, <laughs> whatever you put in. <laughs> Is it, <laughs> I don't know, what's in pasta? I just know it makes me bloat. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's in it. But I feel like she's saying my mum made me pasta. Is there a mother in the audience that's lost her daughter? No. Okay, don't be shy now because this woman's not going. Okay. D? D? Is it the name like Dee or Diane? No? Okay, if you don't put your hand up, I'm gonna get rid of her. Can you relate to what I'm saying? So far? So far? Yes, okay, put your hand up. <laughs> She's not leaving, because I, like, I felt like she wouldn't go. So I feel like this is her. Can you relate to this lady? Yeah. Okay, is, okay, are you mum? This is mum with the pasta. That's Max pasta? Yep. And this is your daughter? She's, she's around you, okay? She's around you. D, is that you? That's my name. D. Deanna. D Deanna. Okay. People call me D. And people call you? D. D. That's it. You know what's funny? I knew that she wasn't going anywhere because, I mean, not only am I very good at what I do, but. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. Just saying. Um, just saying. So says Larry King. <laughs> but this spirit would not leave. Now, quite often when someone has passed over and it comes through and someone doesn't take it, 
the spirit just leaves and another one comes in. This girl didn't leave, all right? So I feel like she really needed to talk to her mum who made her pasta, all right? How do you make pasta? Flour and eggs. Flour and eggs! Oh my God, that sounds so easy. <laughs> sounds so easy. She, she loved your pasta. She loved your pasta. This girl, I actually think, lived with you t like till she died. So does that make sense? But she wasn't like young. Like she was a younger person, but she wasn't like a teenager or anything. I feel like she was older, yeah. but uh, could have been 40s or something like that. Does that make sense? 42. 42. And she lived with you? Yes. You know she's still around your house. You know what she just said to me? She loves you so much. She loves you so much and you're her mum. She just said you're her mum. She thanks you for being a believer because she says that you not only are a believer, you know she comes to visit. She just knows that you come to visit and you're her sister. Can I say that she has never left both of you? She has never left both of you. And there's something about tissue. Is she getting a tissue? She's getting a tissue. She's getting a tissue because she just pulled tissue out of here, actually. I feel like she would either keep tissues in her sleeve. She's giving her a tissue and she's saying, Mum, I'm okay. Mum, I'm okay. You know what? This girl, her life, I believe, wasn't actually, I hate to say this, but she didn't have the easiest life. She didn't enjoy her life. Do you understand that? Completely. She was in a wheelchair. Oh, like all her life? Yes. Okay. She was born that she was way. Born, yep. She was born that way. Yes. She said, thank you for not making me feel not normal. You made her feel just like everyone else. That's how she was treated. You know what? She's saying thank you for that. She just said thank you for that. She's showing me lots of photographs of her. So either you've framed photos of her or you've got lots of photos of her. Do you, can you relate to that? Yeah. Are they got, up? We've got photos of her everywhere. Everywhere around the house? Yep. She loves it. She loves it. She goes, look at me. She goes, look at me. I'm there. I'm there. She's so, so happy to have been your daughter. She just said, I had the best mum. Her dad's with her. Your husband's crossed? Yes. She goes, I don't know if it's like papa or, yeah. or papa. Yeah. It's like she's papa. calling him papa. Yep. Like papa, I was going to say papaya. It's like, papa. <laughs> <laughs> it's like papa. He's there. He's with me. I'm not on my own. Your mum's also crossed. Your, so her grandmother's with her too. Yes. <laughs> I feel like she wants to give you a different recipe with the pasta. So, because <laughs> so, she wants to cook for everyone, this woman. All right? So, so your mum, you know what? But your daughter just says she likes your one more. I don't want to get involved in that. <laughs> I, just want to, I just want to relay it. Don't get me involved. Because you know what just happened? Your mother, which is her grandmother, just said, I'll cook for you, I'll cook for you. She goes, no, I want my mum's pasta. <laughs> I'll cook for you! <laughs> which is funny and cute, but I really think she's serious about that. <laughs> like, your, your mum's quite fiery. So she's like... Yeah. <laughs> but your, your daughter is okay. Is her name like Victoria or Vicky? Or is there like a V or? Yeah, it's Vicky. No. Can't relate to Vicky or Victoria. I feel like I, I want to say V. Um, I know it's a weird letter to, to bring up, but I feel like there's a, there's a name like that. So I don't know if someone's passed or if that's someone alive that's got a name like that. But I feel like that's what just came through. Could be someone else that's coming in, but I feel like I just heard that. All right, so it doesn't matter if, if you can't relate to that one, um, but, but I just heard it and I always give everything I hear because if I don't, they kick my backside. So um, I have to, so there might be someone that with, with a V. Um, but she's so happy that you're here. She's so happy that you look after mum. Because you, you know what? She wants you guys to stay together and stick close. And I don't know, have you just met someone or are you looking for someone? I'm always looking. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll make a great partner and your sister knows this, okay? Your sister knows this. And you know what? She just said that you will be happy. I feel like your mum wants you to meet someone. Oh, I feel like it's one of, huh? She's a mother, of course. Yeah. And, and let me tell you that I think she will. 
So, so don't worry too much because you know what your sister just said that she will make sure that it's the right one for you. Right. And that could be why it's been a while and I, I don't want to be rude, but I feel like it's been a long time. Like a bit of a drought. Yep. <laughs> Can she tell it's me okay. where? Huh? <laughs> Can she tell me where? I don't know, it's like north, north, north. <laughs> <laughs> it's like GPS. Oh my goodness, I didn't even know what that was. <laughs> so she was in the wheelchair. She loved music. Oh yeah. She loved it. Always had the radio. Loved it. Loved it. You know what she just did? Because I can see her in the wheelchair, but you know what she just showed me? She goes, like, you know how they can take it up? Yep. She stands and she's like moving. And I, th I, I almost wanted, did you try to help her to move? Was it almost like you tried to help her to walk? Was that you? Yes. You know, she shows me that you did that and you know what she just said? She said, because of that, in heaven she can walk. She loves you so much. She's walking. She's very just slow, but she's walking. She liked being a girl. She liked being a girl. I know that you've got my photo near you, around your heart. I've actually got it on my chain. On your chain, near your heart? Yep. Is that her photo in there? Yes. And you can open it up and she's in that? That's actually just embossed on top. It's near your heart. You know what's funny? She doesn't want you to, like, get rid of that. She wants you to keep that as it is because she is always in your heart. And her energy will never leave you. And you need to know that although she did pass over, she didn't have an easy, enjoyable life. In spirit, she's having a ball. Oh, that's good to know. And she's with her dad. Oh, yeah. She's with her dad. You know what? Her dad loves her. Her dad loves her. And I think he worries about you a little bit, all right? And I feel like he's saying, because you, I mean, you're the mum to you, but I feel like he, he wants you to live your life too. Because I feel like everything was sacrificed for your children and you did everything for them. And he knows that. But I feel like there's something that you need to start doing for yourself. And this could be like a, an overseas thing or like going somewhere. So I don't know if you've been thinking about actually going back home or going to Italy or, or Europe or wherever you're from. We've been looking at brochures for the past two months. Get out. <laughs> you know what? Your husband wants you to do it. Have you ever gone on a cruise or, <laughs> does that make any sense? Um, she's a cruiseaholic. Ah! <laughs> and so was he. He's a cruiseaholic. You know what? Because he's on a cruise with you. He's on a cruise with you. Well, he still comes on all the cruises in a photo. Oh, let me tell you, if you forget him, he'll freaking trespass on that tr <laughs> ship. <laughs> Do you have a heart problem? Or was it something with his uh, like chest? I felt like it was like a stroke or it was something like that. No. No? Because it, it felt like it was a tightness in his chest. So I don't know if he had a breathing problem, but there was something about that. But he just said that that doesn't stop him from going on these cruises. So there could have been something that he did have, maybe his health wasn't the best, but it felt like it wouldn't stop him. He's going on cruises with you. And you're gonna take another one. So you being a cruiseaholic hasn't stopped. No. There's another one. Are you going with her too? Yep. Oh, you know, he just said it's the three of us. And then your sister just goes, ha ha. <laughs> Me too. Well, it's always the four of us because the, the photos come. That's why. It's always the four in of our, in you. In our cabin, there's always the photo of both of them. There you know what's us. actually hysterical? Uh, there's a corridor that I just saw your sister running in. And it's funny because obviously she was in a wheelchair, but in spirit, she's not. She's running up and down the corridor and she wants to be first in like the, the restaurant. <laughs> so she's running to get first into the restaurant. Well, she's used to being always first. Ah, oh, she's used to that. Mm. She's still doing it. Thanks. She's still doing it. So yeah, thanks mum. Yes, she was always thanks. first. But she always, like maybe she was always fed first or she yep. always had the plate first. She loved it. She was number one. If she was okay, everyone else. Everyone was else was okay. You know, she thanks you so much for that. She says, I love you with all my heart. I love you with all my heart. She struggled talking yeah, as well. She didn't talk. You know why? As I look at you, she's looking back at me and she just said, like, like that. I'm like, why is she doing that? And that's almost like her way of saying, it's almost like playing charades. That's almost like her way of saying, I couldn't get it out. 
Yeah, she was non-verbal. <sighs> That's how you know in the spirit world she's verbal now. She'll be loud. She'll be loud and she'll be proud. <laughs> You know, that's why she loved music. Because it was sound. And she, in her head, had the words. She just couldn't get them out. Okay? Did she have something with her brain also? Was there something with her brain? Yes. It was brain damage at birth. Oh. Because it's almost like her brain wasn't functioning. That's right. You know what? She lived a lot longer than they thought. Yeah, a lot longer. A lot longer. About 40 years. Yeah. 40? 40 years? Yeah. So they thought at two she would die? Oh, at three. They said at three. Oh, that's 40 years. She was 42. Mm. 39 years. She goes, they thought that I wouldn't make it. She proved them wrong. You had an amazing opportunity in this lifetime to be an incredible mother. And I know that your daughter chose you to be her mum. Because what happens is children that are born to the living, they actually make assignments, almost like a contract with, with the parents. So quite often when we blame our parents, in many ways we blame ourselves because we chose them. And she says she just picked the best mum. So what a gift that you had 42 years with her. And she's saying, you know what? You'll have forever with me. She loves you so much and God Thank bless. You. You're welcome. You. Wow. You know, it's been an emotional night, hasn't it? I, I, I'm getting moved. I feel like I'm pretty sure. Oh, well, I've got a meeting great after this. <laughs> I was about to say, I'm going to go like, just have a cry. I don't even cry. I don't even know how tea ducks. But, but I, I do feel really moved by tonight. There's some very powerful messages in this room and... I'm just so grateful to God for giving me this gift because truly it's, you know, I'm getting emotional. But yeah, anyway. Um, okay. Joe. I don't know if this is Grandpa Joe or if there's a Joe. Joe. Sorry? Yeah. Up here. Hello, darling. Hello. Have you got a Joe in spirit? No, I'm Joe. You're Joe. Yeah, Joanne, but always known. A girl, but okay, yeah. Maybe Has your grandfather Joanne. crossed? Okay, I'm so sorry. That's um, okay. No, I no, think no. I'm with this lady. That's fine. <laughs> okay, y'all are Joes, but this is a man. So, I think, sorry? So You're Joe too. Yeah, so before when you said Vicky or Vicky. I knew, I knew it. Yeah, that's my mother. Huh. Joe's my grandfather. And is that your dad? No, oh. Joe's on my... Side, right. But Vicky's and Vic, Vicky is you? Vicky. Remember I said that I knew that, I was, that was, isn't that nuts? I knew that there was going to be a V that I was going to connect with. I didn't know if they were dead or alive. But it's you. And you've got Grandfather Joe. Yeah. Got you. Okay. Your Grandfather Joe watches over you and Vicky is the mum. You know what's interesting? There's also a man around you. I wonder if your father's also crossed. Your dad's passed too. Can you give the microphone to your mum? Sorry, my darling. Your father's passed? Correct. You know why? Because you've both got men around you. You've got Grandfather Joe and you've got Dad. Okay. You've got Dad. Can you relate to the name Mike or Michael? No. Okay, I'm going to come back to that because there's another, there's a Mike, Michael. Are you in the back with a Mike, Michael? Yeah. yeah, I'm going to come to you, I think, next. Okay. Is that a younger man by any chance? Okay, all right. I think I'm still going to come to you after this one because it's almost like they're, see, it's like dominoes. You know, that's what happens. They work off the heat, off the energy. And, I mean, it's not a bad thing. Um, it means that I get through a lot of people. Um, but they almost like try to interfere with each other because they want to get in. It's almost like they're lining up. And, and I feel like you would understand this. So I feel like, uh, Vicky, I feel like you actually have a little bit of the spiritual awareness yourself. So your father yep. shows me from the other side that he's with you, actually helping your spirituality. So I don't know if you're quite open to this, but I feel like you've got a little bit of it too. So in many ways, I think that you've had experiences. And also has mum passed also? Yes, she has. Okay, mum's lovely. Because as soon as mum just came through, um, you've got a sister also? Or is there a sister? Do you have a sister? That passed. Okay, she's with her. She's with her. Your sister's with her. Your sister, oh God, I just, I want to hug her. I just want to hug your sister. Your mum just said, oh, that's my girl. It's like she's doing that. 
It's like I've got your dad, I've got your mum, I've got your sister, I've got your grandfather, Joe. Your sister, I feel, loved the family. She was around you all. You know what's interesting? One of you just thought of her because there's something about like you were just thinking of me. You were just thinking of me. And she said, you know what? I always think of you. I always think of you. She knows that this is quite emotional for you. I understand that because I feel like with her passing, there was a lot of missed words or there was a lot that we didn't get to say to each other. Yeah. Does that, yeah. Do you understand that? Definitely, yeah. And she just said to me to tell you that it's all good. It's mm -hmm. all good. So I don't know if there was actually a misunderstanding before she died or if it was almost like she just, you guys didn't speak. It's almost like she's making me feel like she needs you to know that it's all good. Yeah, yeah. We, we just, well, we, she was, she died unexpectedly. Uh -huh. She was sick, but she died unexpectedly. I but don't think she died sick. from her illness though. No. Because you know what happened? I just saw like a death certificate in my head. Yeah. And I don't think her condition was on that. So is that true? going back many years ago. I really can't remember. She died from something else. Yeah, yeah. Not, what she, yeah. not from what she had. Complications. You, you know what's really interesting? I actually feel that her passing was quite tragic Very and quite sudden, but her illness, I actually think that she was on the mend. So she was. She was. See? She was. Yeah, we got, um, doctor gave us 90% chance that you know, she was going to be fine. Because she was. The night before. And um, then the next morning, we got a phone call that she had turned for the worst. And she passed away. Wow. Because yeah. it was immediate. Yeah. And it's interesting because the tests that they did showed that she was fine. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that ridiculous? Yeah. It's almost like it wasn't detected or it was almost like it, it wasn't, no one was aware of it. Yeah. So I didn't get a chance to say goodbye almost? No, we didn't. No, we didn't. She was, um, she, she was sedated for a whole week and we couldn't talk to her. Yeah. She felt her hand being held? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All you guys time. were there. She felt her hand being held? Yeah. The lady on the very end with dark hair, were you there too? That's my god daughter. She keeps pointing at you. Like, almost like you're, you're part of this. Got you. Yeah. And she was sick when you were baptised? That, yes, that's correct. Okay, yeah. she's actually really happy that you're the godmother. You felt guilty about this. There was almost like something about you didn't, you, you felt like, I don't know if I should be it, or I don't know if she should be it, but she's saying she's happy that you're the godmother. Oh, okay. All right, and I yep. feel like you guys all need to stay close. You guys are like sisters. Yep. So Definitely. Yep. she wants that to remain, okay? And um, I don't know if one of you is in a really serious relationship, but I actually feel like someone's either gonna have a baby or there's gonna be something about, like there's a proposal around someone. So the one in the red, are you with someone? Are you getting married? <laughs> <laughs> is he here? No. Okay, no. good. Um, <laughs> this is a serious relationship though. Yeah, she likes him. She likes him. You're very serious about him. You didn't have easy relationships before this guy. And I actually like this one. You know, it's funny, this girl that um, is beside you knows all about your past. So <laughs> and I know she knows some stories. So, you are? Yeah. Ah, you knew him before she did. No wonder this is a sign of approval. <laughs> you love him. I love him. God bless you guys. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Now, at the back, at the very back, again, forgive me, I just cannot see you. Actually, do you know, um, we laugh about this because I do wear glasses, I never wear them, but I do wear them, um, especially when it's that far. Okay, now, I had the name Michael around you before. Yeah, but that's my dad. That's your dad. Okay, far, dad Michael. Yes. Michael is, yes. is him. Okay, got you. Um, okay. Did he have the heart problem? Yes. Ah, I knew I was it, with you. It was one of the many things that he had. But I think that there were many, but he definitely had the heart problem. Yes, that's how we would have died. <laughs> Correct. Okay, because you know what he just did? It's almost like, so Michael, I'm dad, I had the heart problem. Yeah. He's showing me all of that. Um, he knows about the boy. So I don't know if someone had a baby 
or oh if someone... Oh, my God. Yes, I know what this is all about. You understand that? Um, well, I'll give you the short story. Um, no, I'll, I'll quickly tell him because everyone will get confused. Um, we were told by three different clairvoyants... That someone had another son. My dad had a son. I knew son. it. Anyway, yeah, you don't even need to tell me the story. I can tell you. Yeah, that we okay. had a brother. And then did you find that person? No, we haven't been... We haven't gone into it. I knew we, it. We, we confronted Mum about it um, probably a couple of months ago. Are there three daughters? Yes, we're here, all three of us. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. He, ca he actually came through before, but you didn't say much about him. What? You, you gave us a reading in the first half, but... Oh! You, yes. I'm Sonia. Oh! <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> come on! Is this like all the Sonyas, please stand up? Yeah. So, sweetheart, yes. I think the reason I didn't give you that reading is because that wasn't for you. Ah, this one is. Maybe this one is. Okay. Of course! Okay. You're with the wrong Sonia before. But you took you talked about my grandma and it was exactly her. Because they were coming through for you. Yeah. They must have known you were going to get a reading. Okay. Un oh, it's really good not to freaking be a Sonia tonight. <laughs> um, out of all names. It's not like a common name either. It's like really rare. Um, your, your father yes. has three girls yes. and a son. Well, we... Yes. He does. Yes. I, we think he's got a son. I don't know. We haven't been able to... He knows. So, <laughs> let me... Where let can me, we find him? Let me tell you. You're going to... You haven't really looked yet. No, so, we haven't. I know. We haven't. So... <laughs> no, we haven't. Call me psychic. Yeah. Um, <laughs> by the way, you are lovely. You are so lovely. I can't see that one, but you're lovely. Thank you. Um, and can I say that your father is just filled with love? Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Um, your father is filled with so much love around all of you. I actually do think that you'll hear of a, a, of a brother. So you're going to start to look into this. You know how there's all those family find me thingos or family no, trees? But we don't know where to start because no, we had no name. There was no name given to us. We were told. I don't think he knows the name either, though. No, but we were told that um, Dad's um, surname isn't on his birth certificate. So... Oh, that could be why it's not easy also to find someone. Yeah. Oh. See, did he migrate from somewhere? Or was it like he came from somewhere else? Because a lot of that happens when you come from somewhere else. They change names and stuff like that. Well, it would have happened here in Australia. That's what the other clairvoyants told us. But, I mean, we could be... Dad was 19 when he came here. Right. And he came from somewhere else, didn't he? Uh, Italy. Oh, well, that's why. Yeah. Because I know he wasn't born here. Yeah, no, no, no. Because it doesn't look like I can tell, it's obvious. So it's... <laughs> and, and he was here 10 years before he married my mum. Right. So they were quite old when they... Well, old, old for back in that day, back in those days. There is, there is a son. Mm. So I think... Um, does your mum get very weird about that when you say that? No, she kind of laughed when we told her and she said, in, in, like, saying it in Australian, she, she said, um, that'd be about right. Oh. And because you mentioned that Dad was flirty in the first section. In the wow. First, yeah, so that was Dad. Wow. Well, he's here. He was very charismatic. He's got a son. Mm. So... Does he, want, does he want us to find him? I think you'll try, to be completely honest. I don't know if you will find him, completely mm. blunt. But I don't think it hurts to try. Does he know about us? The son? Yes. No, he doesn't. Yeah, I didn't think so either. He doesn't. You guys know. Yeah. The son doesn't. Yeah. So that could also be a thing. I actually, I hate to say this, but I almost think that you won't find him. Yeah, I kind of get that sense um, every now and again as well. Yeah. <laughs> I almost feel like it's one of those things where as much as we want it to happen, yeah. you know, I mean, I've got to give it to you guys, I get it. I'd love yeah. to say, yes, yes. Not one of those people. Yeah. So I, I don't think you will. Yeah. But have solace in knowing that there is one and yeah. that he has his own family. And in many ways, there's similarities between him and your dad. Oh, so that's what I would have loved to have seen. That's true. Yeah, that's, that's true. what I would love to have seen. That's true. You know what? Your dad is kissing your mum. He's kissing her. Something about lipstick. So, does that, do you want She always wore red lipstick. Always red lipstick? Yeah. Oh, I mean, she still does now. She still yeah. does? Good yeah. on her. She's 83. Good on her! Red lips. 
<laughs> with red lips. Red lips. Oh, I love that. <laughs> oh, I wish she came. You know I'm, what? I'm sure she would have. Uh, I'm sure she would have loved yeah, it. Yeah, enjoyed it. Yeah. You know what? Because he's showing me the lips. Yeah. And he goes, you know what? I kiss them. Yeah. Because I kiss them. He loves you all. He loves you all. And he thanks you for coming here. God bless you. We're grateful. Thank you so Thank much you. for that. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow. Are you guys having a great night? I, I wish we could just keep this in like a little bubble and just continue it forever. Like, you know, I, I do say that this is really my vocation. It truly is, you know. Um, my sisters who are around, they, they think I'm a freak sometimes. But, but, but they love me and they know that I'm how I am and I could never change. And, you know, something that I struggled with as a child, now I'm helping hundreds and thousands of people. And I'm so grateful. So, you know, the reason I'm saying that is if you're sitting here tonight and if there's something about you that is different or if there is something about you that you feel doesn't fit in, I promise you that you do belong. And no matter what anyone else says, never let anyone take away your shine because you're meant to be here and you're meant to be who you are. All right? Yeah, I had to say that. Okay, I think I've got one more to go. So let me see where I go. I'm sorry we're running late. Um, okay. I'm really glad that we've mixed it up a lot with the, the tops and the bottom ones because it, it really helps. Okay. I feel like I want to go to... Like a priest? Like a priest? Your grandfather? Priest? He was a priest? He's here. He's here. You know what's actually funny? I wonder if you were thinking, oh my God, can I come to you and do this? Is that all right? Because I feel like he's here. I've got the whole robe and I've got the whole... He's a priest. He's a priest. He's with you. And you know what's interesting? I feel like he's praying for your son. Do you understand this? Yep. Okay. And that's how I knew he was a priest, because men don't really pray. I do, but I'm different. Um, <laughs> but he was like, I'm praying for your son. I'm praying for your son. I don't know if your son's gone through a lot or had a health problem. Yep. Does that make any sense? Yep. Okay. Yes, he's been sick. He's been sick. Oh, sweetheart. He's been better the past couple. Okay. Has he been going to hospital and stuff? Yep. Oh, your grandfather's been with him. Yep, for sure. He's been praying for him. Yep. They don't know what's wrong with him. No. So they're doing blood tests and it's yep. like they're not finding anything? Yep. You know, it's really weird. It's one of those things I feel like it's almost like he was like shutting down. It's almost like it was like, oh, like yep. exhausted? Yeah, very. Okay. Your grandfather just said to let you know that, you know what, he's going to be okay. I'm with him. I'm with him. Yeah, I know. And I'm praying for him to get better. He will get better. Yeah. And he needs you to know that although it's been a hard time with your son, yep. the reason, I don't know what this means, but there's a reason that this happened. Is something going on with his studies or like his... Trying to make a decision with his career path. Yeah, Harrison doesn't know where he's heading. Okay. He's, he's just deferred uni. Ah. <sighs> and yeah, he doesn't. And he doesn't know what to do. Yeah. Okay. In some weird way, so the universe has a very yeah. strange way of self-organizing and self-correcting. So what tends to happen is, when something bad happens, yeah. the universe is already on it. So that's why no matter how bad things get, I always say, don't worry because it will fix, it will rectify. No matter how bad it does get, there's always a, a rainbow behind every storm. And I actually think that this situation that your son has just gone through, the health condition, was to show him more about life because I feel like he's wasting a lot. So in many ways, I feel like this is your grandfather's way of saying to him, don't give up on how great you are. Yeah. And I think that he is either struggling with that, like mentally as well. Yeah. And I feel like you need to really instill in him, you can do this. I do, I don't stop. <laughs> you can do this. He's not yeah. listening, he's not believing no, he's it. Not. 
And this health condition has occurred for him to almost take a step back and to realise, you know what? I can't do this anymore. I've got to let myself... Isn't that weird that I said that little thing before? Before this message? Yeah. Wasn't I just talking about, you know what, don't let anyone stop you, make sure yeah. you shine? I feel like that had something to do with him. Yeah. All right? So let him know that he is going to be OK and your grandfather is with him, he's praying for him. And, and he, did he have, like, a moustache? and he had a goatee. Goatee, like the, the hair. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't as big as the other <laughs> someone, somewhere, no, no, you, no. yeah. Um, He's not like that, but no, he's no. got the... But yeah. he was so respected by so many people. Yeah, my dad, and uh, my grandfather was one of the first Greek priests in Melbourne. Get out. Yeah, very well respected. Do people still go to that church? Yarrable Church. Yeah, Yarrable Church? church he opened you know up. what? There's something of him in there. Yeah. So he's very connected to that church. Yeah. And you know what? He just said that he'll always be praying for your son. Your son will get better. <laughs> he's going to be okay. They actually won't probably find what was wrong. To be honest. That's what they told us. It's true. Yeah. But he will be okay. Yeah. He's on the tail end of it now. Yeah. He's home now, isn't he? Yeah, he's home. Perfect. He's home where he belongs. Yep. And God bless Michael. you. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much. Truly, thank you so much. I am so humbled to have been able to serve spirit for all of you amazing people and thank you for trusting me in connecting with your loved ones and for those of you who didn't receive a message, I mean I went through a lot of you, but for those of you who clearly didn't receive a message, I want you to know that when you do leave that love truly never dies and that your loved ones will always be with you and I promise you that you will be re reunited with them once again. So thank you so much and God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Harry, you so much. You were just incredible. Thank you, you really were. And we definitely felt the love in the room. There were so many tears, a lot of laughs. You're truly gifted and Thank it's you. just so profound. And I still don't know how you do it, but Thank you. <laughs> you are incredible and I love you. So I love you. Thank you. Thank oh. you. Thank you so much. Thank you. God bless. Round of applause for Harry. Oh, how wonderful is he? So fantastic. I hope you have all enjoyed this evening. It's been a really magical night and I hope that you all can take something home from this. You've all got your little bracelets, um, your Sue Sensi protection bracelets, so go home and wear them and um, have a think about you know, some of the things that Harry has said tonight. And um, it's true, love continues on. So have a great night, everybody. For those that are staying on for the VIP meet and greet, which I feel is these first few rows here. Uh, please stay back and for everybody else, thank you so much for your attendance tonight. We loved having you and hope that you really enjoyed the evening. So thank you so much. Have a great night.